Beautiful uptown Burbank, Harmontown. This one's a hit session. May 20, 2018. You know there's something wrong with you. Jen doesn't have shingles, but he's still your feet if you're incomplete. And there's nothing love or drugs can do. And let me hear you say, I don't feel so good. You'd be like, oh, love it. From Snuggletown, USA. The mayor of Harmontown, Dan Harmont. Hip hop. A broom to the mop, I clean your mother's pussy till I hit the top of the engineering industry. I'm a custodian, don't cause me misery. I started at the bottom, now I'm going to the top. Because of the aforementioned mop, I'm gonna fuck your mama and rap. All right. Yeah. It's good. All right, stop it. Stop the right. goddamn music. It's got, Rob, already got someone rapping on it. That's, Ro that's Rob Tantrum, everybody. Our yeah. friend Rob. Uh, with uh, with uh, background vocals by our own church. Whoa. Yeah, when's that coming out, that album? Soon, right? Church, right, you know? Right now, tonight. Get it at Best Buy. That's something to look forward it's to. It's good stuff. It's, uh, it's about his own maniac high anxieties and weird cathexes, and it's uh, beautifully written and <sighs> wonderfully. Uh, Dan, I watched you record a piece on it. It's very good. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, he's He worked very hard on that. Uh, well, I guess you're not probably not. No, you are supposed to tell people you worked hard on your rap album. Mm. Rappers work hard on their albums. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he worked very hard on it. He took it very seriously. And uh, I think it's I think it's very impressive. He had to kind of be talked into doing it because he's like, I don't want to do a white guy comedy rap album. He's he's right to have those anxieties, but the truth is, he's so good. Like as I was like, just do it. Like like, yeah, you're right. It's like probably it's it's objectively on paper. It's it's a it's a corny concept, but so is jumping over a a, a high pole at the Olympics. It's like, oh, I'm gonna do that again like yeah just do it like you know, who yeah, cares? How, yeah. how, how do you pick pole vault how do you go like that's my shit yeah i don't know it's weird isn't it because like they're they're jumping but they're doing it with a with a, with a big stick and a big jumpy it snaps stick. in half and what you have is a giant knife like two fiberglass knives in your hand that can just impale you through your through your abdomen. coming and going i mean let's face it really what 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 olympic activities do we even do we even approve of like like maybe like running running Running's good uh uh swimming, uh, swimming I, think, I guess no, swimming. Sw swimming you don't have there's never a cause in life to swim fast yeah let's not, not compete out swim a shark well is it for is if it you're about swimming we should do it as a team is like it about not causes in life or is it about this idea this is what i could never figure out is it this is the, the olympic rhetoric that i never understood is this idea of like oh it's about nations coming together and then it, but then it's also at the exact same times. It's about nations coming together. It's about, uh, it's about, it's about uh, uh, proving which country can be better, and 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 about the, and about the potential of the human potential. It's funny I, I, how how quickly you can bankrupt a city or a country by what? building a bunch of stadia that are never going to be used again. I just, I mean, what if, what if you drafted your team in the Olympics? Like you got all the skiers, and then like you had to like you know each each country yeah. got to like get like everyone else's. You know what I love is the biathlon in the Winter Olympics where they ski and shoot, because that's some real shit. Well, that's what calls into question the whole endeavor of Olympics because it's like why not fucking chess if you can yeah. ski and shoot as like a sport. But if you're a, if you if you're a Scandinavian, like homeless person <laughs> with a gun like you like you, you need to be able to ski life. around not die and then kill your food and and carry your gun on your back like like that's like some hunting yeah i mean i think the olympics are a little silly at this point right we are, i think we the are, only I, sport I, that really comes I in handy in day-to-day -day life is water polo uh water polo is fun because you can you you try to kill other people for most of the game i keep finding myself in situations where i'm in my underwear with a with a with a little cap on my head, right. And and you want to hold a ball I, above I, your head. I, I, I want to throw a ball uh, through 
a, a, a small net, but, but there's there's never anybody else there to pass it to. Right. That's what that satisf- satisfies me about water polo. My driver, not tonight's driver, but uh, that's whoever my previous driver was because it brings up the thing. It says, what did you think about uh, so-and-so? I, I believe my last driver's because I just clicked through. But I think my last driver's name was Ushola. How do you spell that? U S H O L A, Ushola. I tipped him That's twenty dollars awesome. because I was like, "This guy's life is a mess." Um, you, can be, you, you can be a famous baseball player named Pujols, and you're fine. Yeah, you got to get good at something. Yep, yep. And he's uh, good at using his name. I went Pujols. to the. I went to the. Uh, uh, I'll talk about that later, probably. Oh, that's too. That's too. Um, too too thick, too thick. Right. A, too thick a cut of uh, beef. Not for, for the, the initiative. We need something lighter. I was walking down the road today, and I saw a guy that looked so much like Spencer. I was. I almost went up to him and said, "Are you trying? Like, are you a big fan? Because it, it it looked like somebody who had dedicated efforts to look like Spencer." Where was he? He was walking into like a juice place. Oh yeah. That's not me. Yeah, that's not you. You should have set him straight. If he wants to really pull off the Spencer thing, he don't walk into the juice place. No. I started watching this Glide. new uh, <laughs> true crime show um, called Cold Justice, and it's like a very unusual show because it's uh, we're all familiar with cold cases now, the appeal of those. Well, this 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 crime hasn't been solved yet. But it's these it's these two women. Um, and they uh, they go from town to town. The whole thing has this very uh, uplifting mood to it because these women come to your town and solve your cold case for you. Sure. <laughs> so the so the so the way it's edited, it's just like it's just on this side of like uh, it just feels more like a uh, home improvement show. Like like it ha- the music and the editing oh, of it are yeah. like so you, they, they roll in and they're like, like they, they're, they're like so t- 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 Tiffany Johnson got um, sexually assaulted and murdered ten years ago and they can't figure out how it is and here's the police that couldn't figure out how it is hi how are you how are and, and then they go to the family who have been uh, uh, unable to uh, have closure for ten years and they chat with them but they're like, very upbeat and they're like they're doing bits um, not in front of the family but it's yeah. like I, the family's gonna watch the show so then there's like it, it has like this like they try to create this little feeling of camaraderie because they're working with the the cops and they're like hey Hey, we're driving to the penitentiary. We're going to talk to uh, Ringo. Uh, anything you anything you guys wanted to say to us? Uh, yeah, yeah so, that's uh, a big 10-4. If you could just get him to say that he killed Tiffany Johnson, that would be great. <laughs> get him to say he murdered and raped her. I mean, I, that's what we want. Isn't it? <laughs> wait, wait, they and they're always, like, yeah, I wish. <laughs> do they always get their man? Do they, what's yeah, their bad Yeah, they do. Time. They apparently so do. So, like a, then they, so then they go to the, job. And then the music kind of gets kind of lilting, and they go, they come back. You know, they, they, they structure it so it's like you check in with the, the aggrieved family members. Um, and then, and so then at the end, it's like, it just feels very much like one of those shows where we re- remodel your kitchen. <laughs> They're right. coming back and going, guess who murdered your daughter 10 years ago? It was the mailman. You were right. You were right. Oh, I, I, know, I know it. I you know, know it. What, what, you know how the criminal justice <laughs> said, system said it wasn't the mailman, but you did? <laughs> well, you were right. You know, I, Wait, I, I thought it was amazing. I mean, it's a good show, but it really was tasteless when they were like, uh, you know, we're about to reveal the killer. Move that. That truck and then he's like the killer's behind a truck i don't which show is that is it called move that truck no it's a it's a great joke oh. and everyone loved it oh, I, oh, I, 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 I watch a new show called uh it's about cold cases too but uh they they make it look real sexy by the end of it it's called pimp my cold case mm-hmm. <laughs> they put uh they put an aquarium in someone's coffin yeah it's uh, it's 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 it, and uh at the end of it you're a, you're the, the boss of cupcakes uh so, wait, wait a second Harmon. I, I, time, I'll, I'll do better. I'll wait an hour and a half. Every time Thank they you. come on the show, they solve a case. Why aren't they the most famous detectives in the world? I th- I don't Editing. think these cases are all that cold. I think it's it feels to me they're like basically hot. they're just taking the budget and time that a television show affords that a mu- municipal government doesn't afford uh, its victims um, because it costs five hundred thousand dollars and forty eight hours to 
to to detect semen a little better. Like you, like, you know, act like Tell you give a, give a fuck. Well, that's very depressing. I that's well, if case. you think about, you know, there's a dollar cost to this stuff. You know that black people get murdered and like they don't fucking send David Caruso into a right. fucking you know black light lab. No, with, but like, it's depressing that it's so easy to impact justice that you could be like, we got a TV show. We're yeah. gonna come in and fund the government. Like, what I is, truly that's think that's what's what it depressing. is. I mean, we know that that's what the that's <laughs> essentially what the uh, Innocence Project is. Is that they're you know it's, it's like it's like holy shit if you just bother to take the time not everyone turns out to be innocent but holy crap like like right. it's like it's like Dude, you know, you're, you're up on your knees in your bed uh, you're, not you're, either, you're either about to make yourself a cocktail or a jerk <laughs> should um, i rub your nipple or should, what, do you need to handle this either way you should why can't it be both right all right speaking of perfect worlds uh our Thank special you. guest tonight. I did tell. I told you guys this a thousand times, right? That I went to the doctor and he was. <laughs> I was worried about my testicles. I'm getting to that age. I thought maybe I felt something. Yeah. And then the doctor, <laughs> doctor's like, "Well, do you want me to? Do you want me to feel him? Yeah. Well, I make me feel what do you better. Think I came here for. And then he like he gets. He gets, just started feeling my. Thought if I I like caught myself like I started touching my nipple. Again? I reached up. No, no, no. I, I was just this making the sure. Same I, story. I was just making sure I already talked about that. Oh God damn it! It's a if, if that's a if that's a recurring thing, then we we, we have to talk about that. Our that next guest uh, has been seen in all media, just like everyone else, because the world is now a a hive mind, in which everyone has an equal chance to cause a riot uh, in Tunisia or die in obscurity. It really doesn't matter. Fame means nothing. Um, but yeah. if you're if you like nice, interesting, good kids with hearts of gold and minds like a labyrinth uh, and you like our friend Duncan Trussell, this guy rolls in that crew, you know? I call him the Pembertoons. Please welcome Johnny Pemberton to my bed. Oh, yeah, Johnny Pemberton to the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. We didn't really explain anything to you. Because we don't. Hi, guys. We've been, we've been working with the format a little bit since we lost our audience. It's great. It's a great new format. It's a lot of new changes and stuff. It's really good. This could be big what's happening right now. He's using all the mics. Well, you know, I, He's I, about to. Wasn't specified. I don't want to make a mistake. Well, so. Johnny, Johnny Three Mike Pember, Pemberton. This is good because we only had one guest lined up, but you could actually fill in for three guests right now. I'll do three. What do you want me to do? I'll is it do three? That you you might already did be. Did you bring some clips from your new show, Pembertoons? Uh, yeah. Do we have those clips? Pembertoons. Can we, can we roll one of the Pembertoons? Uh, Pembertoons episode. Pembertoons episode two is the best. It's got a lot of new. Uh, we've got uh, Neil Patrick Harris and David Allen Greer uh, yeah, playing this each is, other. Uh, you guys That's go great. skiing, right? We go skiing. Uh, in the summertime, it's a mount, It's like a thing with wheels, like wheel skiing type thing. In the, uh, oh, hi. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. Well, let's yeah. let's check that out. Okay. Click, click. Boop, boop. What's going on out here? I'm David Allen Greer. I shouldn't have been skiing in the first place. Not on mud. I'm Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> I'm special guest Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hey, Neil. <laughs> Timber! Oh, shit! How does all this work, Neil deGrasse Tyson? <laughs> I just got killed by a tree. Don't ask me. To space and beyond! <laughs> wow. So is it yeah, kind of, is it a half hour or is it? Well, so that was all live action. Yeah, it's all live action. But, but then, we, then you go back and flash animate. Yeah, everything is done in a, it's reverse flash with live action. Everything's comped in. They do it like a thing where they, um, it's all composite shots. Right. It's wow. like Drunk History meets, um, uh, Caroline Goes to the City. Caroline Goes to the City. Yeah, it's Drunk History meets Caroline Goes to the City, except this time we're taking the drawings that Caroline made you never saw. <laughs> And we're, we're showing them. And sure. Caroline Goes to the City is like uh, young Sheldon uh, to Caroline in the City, right? It's about her getting there, like, yeah, it's, like it's driving before, there. It's before she got there. What's yeah. the angle on young Sheldon? <laughs> what's, 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 give me the log line, the I think elevator pitch on young Sheldon. I think, that, I think the title is the elevator pitch. It's like he's, uh, <laughs> it's a single camera Chuck Lorre show, right? That's the real pitch. Oh, oh it's yeah. a single camera, huh? Yeah. I think so, right? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. You can really get intimate. You know, I, mean, I, when, I, what, met, what, I met him once, and he did say, "I because I said you I met said, Young Sheldon, or you met I Chuck Lorre. They're that's the same a, person. I met Chuck Lorre at a at some thing. Oh, I, was, I think I met him. I think I met him at uh, Caroline's at uh, 
at, at that thing that uh, Eric Idle did, the Dick the Dick uh, show. I think he was there. All about, uh, all about Dick. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, that's Chuck Lorre. Well, yeah, like, we met at the after party there. And uh, and then I and then I asked him, uh, like, is there something you what, what what is it that you want? What is yeah. right? Like, what do you want? So what, do you, what do you want? Why'd you get out of bed today? But the way, like, the, like, but the way you said it was, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. What did he say? He said, he said, well, actually, I want what you what you have. I want to do. I'd love to do a single oh, camera yeah. show. That's, uh, you know, that's it. Young... I was waiting for him to say that is a, a critical darling and is very well, well crafted. But he really just was talking about medium. I'd like to do what you do. I'd like to just work less cameras. Yeah, just less cameras and have more time to edit. <laughs> that does sound nice. <sighs> Nobody wants to do single cameras if you can do a multi-camera thing. The hours are way better. It's cheaper. I think, cheaper. yeah, but I guess if you, I mean, well, that would imply maybe he has a creative ambition that's not being, uh, maybe maybe that's maybe that's all that's left once you've conquered the the medium, you know. You go like, okay, but what, what would I, what ha what can't I do? I'm going to do that. Yeah, man. I you guess I would retire. Frankly. I would start. I would start pole vaulting. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Know. I would not do it. I'm not gonna. I did. I did think for a little bit. Like maybe I'll do multicam. But then I tried it. I sucked at it, and I wasn't like, oh, that means it's important to do. I was like, Ugh. I'll do it again. Now I can't want. watch it or make it. But now I have to figure out a different way to get the fuck out of this business. What about supplements? <laughs> Uh, I don't think those earn you money. Although if you go to forhims uh, dot com, you can oh, get supplements. Yeah. You can help us make money by putting in the the code erection. We can prevent you from going bald. Right, and that'll make you money because the world loves hair. Yeah, and they're willing to pay for it in India. Uh huh. Don't we get it from there? It goes both. Oh, ways. we get it from if we get it yeah, from we India. Get it from there. You're right. We're going bald, and they're they're giving us they, their hair. They've got hair and and hair like hair. Well, <laughs> uh, uh, what what what's been new, Pemberton? Anything? I don't know, man. Just uh, been moving through physical space on a daily basis. Hmm. What you think um, about that royal wedding? I know that you're a big royal watcher. Yeah, I did. I, I had a fun time looking at the front page of CNN because sometimes I look, look at CNN just as a default, like as a time waster kind of. Like, I just click CNN to look at it, and the entire p front page of CNN was Royal Wedding News. Uh -huh. The entire yeah. page, even above the full, was all nothing but CNN, nothing but Royal Wedding. It is a big deal. Doesn't it feel, you're maybe, you're too young for this, but it's like, I was like probably, I was 10-ish or something like that when the Princess Die thing was happening. Not I was her, alive for that. Not her dying, but her getting married. Like, oh. it was a royal wedding that everyone really cared about, because she was, that was the 80s version of being black, was that she was just, like, from fucking chutney or something people think so, that she's what's it, what's it, a, she was from warwickshire she's she from chutney <laughs> she was she was, she, she was that, from that stoke was, on trent that was that was unacceptable she back was from then elephant and castle which is my favorite place i think it's where um michael kane is from it's called elephant and castle because it was originally called like, the some spanish princess was banging one of the royals and she was the infante de castillo the like, 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 like the, the child of castillo or Castilla, and nobody that lived there wanted to say, like, we're not calling it fucking Infante de Castilla, Elephant and Castle. You know, they were like, we're not <laughs> calling it fucking Infante. We're, we're, we're not speaking Spanish under any circumstances. That's smart. Uh, There's a place called Blubber Houses in Britain. Blubber Houses? Blubber. How are the Brits? I'm sure the answer is bad. I mean, whatever. Is it, is it, is it, is it bad? I, I, I hear they're Brexiting. Have you, you heard, heard about they're, they're Brexiting. Have you seen this? They're, 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 they're double Brexiting. They're like, they're Brexiting. oh, now there's a biracial princess saying, hey, I do it. Double Brexit. Yeah. That makes me want to frame Roger Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> but you're supposed to be helping them. Oh, I know. That's why I'm so bloody mad. The double Brexit is when you poop on an Englishman's chest, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But, uh,. Yeah, I don't know anything about her. I don't. I, I just. I heard. I heard like a. She was on Suits. She was I, a coworker of Jeff. I was in. I was on a show that she was in. It's yep. crazy that she's American. Yeah. I, it's, I mean, it's, it's almost like it's being kind of overshadowed by the fact that she's because the people keep saying biracial. She's biracial. It's like, well, fuck that. She's from a. She's from America. I heard she was also outspoken. 
Yeah, uh, probably. I, I heard she's outspoken. And I, I heard she racial. she doesn't go there. <laughs> really? Wait, yeah. no, she. Are you oh, sure? Sure, yes. Well, she she'll go there, but she'll make sure that. Well, that, she uh, doesn't play that. Uh, she, she doesn't play she, that. She will certainly not play that. No. But she'll she she will. She go won't there. do that. I mean, she may do that. I couldn't say. I can't understand getting excited about royalty. However, I guess the one thing to get excited about it would be, I guess it's like NASCAR. Like you're, you, you could say, oh, you, you, well, well, you're watching all you want, but you, you're waiting for someone to die, right? Otherwise, you're saying you like to watch cars drive in a circle. So, like, you're, you're watching the royal. The, we, 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 get, we get royal fever when there's a wreck. When there's something that's happening, like who was the Fergie lady? Did she? What did she sleep oh, yeah. with a, a plumber or something? She and did coke like, too. Oh, so ro- the yeah. royals, the royals were so into the royals the because plumber. they're it's it's being turbulized. And what was the king that slept with Wallace Simpson? That was a big thing. He had to abdicate the throne and whatnot, and oh, they, they yeah. lived in a boat. They're not really allowed to do anything, right? Like you can go visit their hat in, under plexiglass. Like they, yeah, 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 I, 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 I went to London and I, I is that, the, the the line to see their fucking they, hat. They call it a crown. Was uh, I'll call, crown it's a, like, like I'm American. It's a it's a hat, it's a and the line was longer than the Indiana Jones ride. It, un, un, unacceptable. Did you see him? <laughs> like like like. I, the, I, 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 yeah, I walked up and it was like it was a hat under glass with like. I can't tell the difference between real jewels and like like. They're not the real jewels. The, the real jewels I keep getting took. So now they have. You go up, then you want to see the Kohinoor, the mountain of light. The, 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 uh, speaking of Indian things that we stole, and you go there. It's not even the fucking real flim flam because that keeps getting taken. So that so you go, so you stand in line and go look at the, the crown jewels, and you're looking at a bunch of bullshit. And since the world is ending and, and there's no reward for being cultured anymore, like can we just say? As Americans, do we, can we even access? I was touring that that place, that that castle, whatever you call it, the 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 English uh, uh, ca- castle, and and they're, and they're just like Beck- uh, Beckinsale. To your left is the bloody tower. It's said that Queen Boleyn every night always scratches her arse because in 1216 an affair with the Duke of Kensington caused quite a stir, and the bodies were hung. It's like this shit happened. Been like so long ago that it's uh, it's not even they didn't even have paper like like, like you're just saying some shit like they, it's they, a ghost story they, they used to call hats crowns <laughs> it's just kind of like i can't <laughs> access that stuff i'm like i'm like i i don't know what anything older than 200 years could possibly mm-hmm. be like because if we believed in the, if we valued that stuff in america then we'd have to cop to slavery no, all, all, we, all, we, we'd be yeah, like oh yeah, yeah. yeah all of, all of our awesome ancient history is about Slavery yeah. or, or genocide? We owe it to ourselves and each other to be always looking forward in this yeah. country. I, I just had a tour through the South with the Who's Live guys, and like this, not a lot of upbeat Southern uh, tourist attractions. Like unless you're talking about blues museums or like you know like alligators, alligator museums. What was downbeat? Um, the Oakland Cemetery in Atlanta, Georgia. Because aside from Bobby Jones and Margaret Mitchell, uh, who, uh, who uh, what's the slavery movie? Gone with the Wind. Uh, there's, <laughs> the there's slavery a... movie. <laughs> she makes it romantic. Uh, no, there's just there's just a thousand dead Confederate soldiers, and a lot of them, you know, have my name. <laughs> it's, it's pretty rough. All right. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't tour anything. Went to the went to the Anne Frank house. That's a that's a kick in the pants. Is it? It's a lot of laughs. I was there. Oh, oh no. I see what you're saying. Yeah, but it's like, like the, the furniture's all gone. What? They you you, climb, you go see? I would have only gone. You go up these steep stairs, and then there's like there's shit printed out on Wikipedia, and taped to the walls that you can read as you move through the. It's just taped to the walls. Yeah. That that's seems like pretty low. Pretty like. Yeah. That's not that's low not budget. good. Where did yeah. we go? Church the so Paul cheap. Revere House, and where was that? Philadelphia. Boston, yeah, that was kind of cool because they has they, 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 oh that's that's what a fireplace looked like when Paul Revere well, made it a, tiny, made, made like a, this this big. It was low and it looked like a hobbit might be hanging out there. And it was it, it all looked very Tolkien esque. That was the one thing that I find, that was the one tour we went to Al Capone's hideout somewhere in northern Wisconsin, me and my family, and, and I was like, oh, the, all the hallways were tiny. I always thought that museums when they when they showed like the 
recreations of the places in museums that they were just saving money. Like they were making it like 0.8 scale or something <laughs> to like use less lumber. But like, I guess people, they people didn't have many. vitamins. So they were just like little hobbits back then. Like five, two. Like Al Capone was just like, he just looked big compared to all the other little tiny people. And oh, they had little, yeah. their planes were small and their, their beer bottles oh, yeah. were small. Like our, we do like, when I go out and do comedy shows, we play in a lot of old theaters, and they're all built by tiny people. Like, you can bump your head on everything. It's crazy. Yeah. Is there, Spencer, you know things. Oh, is, yeah. Is there a name for a disorder where I can't hold a brand new pen without breaking off the clip? Like um, the lapel clip, I, or the whatever you call it, pocket clip. Lack of object permanence. I just, I can't, I, I break them immediately. Yeah, Why don't I you do get that the too. pens without those things on them? Yeah, but then what am I going to break? So it is weird. Okay. Like, I feel like there's a lot of American whole culture that's wrapped up in, like, a historicalness or whatever, like a intentional misreading or misunderstanding of history. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. I mean, I don't know. It's just like because America started in 1776. It's like we've been we've barely been around in most of that time. Like civil rights haven't existed but we go like oh yeah it was so long ago this stuff happened it's like no it happened when my mom was alive yeah, like yeah. there's a before and after it's like really crazy yeah I don't we know. don't like dealing with that shit but like the i just was listening to a podcast that's like about lore and it talked about the golem you know the golem like this mythical a golem like a homunculus or a chimera the golem legend only goes back to like late 1700s what was the city that the golem was supposed to be in like was it like in i think it was in some spanish city or maybe it's like a giant it was, it was it was a clay monster made made uh made by uh jew jewish people right, to protect the magical. city yeah be, or not the city the people because apparently it was a huge thing back then to pretend that Jewish people were behind blood sacrifices. Mm. And so you'd kill a body, you'd kill a child and then hide it in someone's, like a Jewish person's basement and call the police and go like, I think this Jewish person just sucked all the blood out of this child. And then they'd go and they'd be like, well, clearly this happened. And, uh, and, if, they, and if they could, they could be like, we were all over here Prague, have, in, 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 Prague, in, in Prague. shul and we have like, like we we have a thousand witnesses in a tight knit community and we're peaceful people and then and then we go like well you probably used one of them golems right? no it was the other way so they're like oh. the golems were to like <laughs> tell people not to like don't hide a body here well yeah right. he like <laughs> please don't hide a body here he put the body back where he it came put the from body back. Is that really what the golem would do? He put the body back? He did one of the things he did, yeah. It's, 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 like, it's, it's like throwing a tear gas canister back at the cops. Yeah. Like, yeah. But the second he touches that body, he becomes an accessory. The golem, right. So he's made of clay. He can just dissolve. Yeah, he's a golem. <laughs> he's like, he just turns back into clay. They had that's what the priest said. It was the golem. The golem did it. What about state lines, though? I don't uh, know how that works in New York. They were, the golems were made out of state lines. <laughs> made of state lines. So, so they cross themselves, and they become a federal crime just by existing. Yeah. yeah. Remember how important the county line was in Dukes of Hazard? Oh, <laughs> they just drive up and down that road, and then it was like they, it's like every time it happened for the first time, it'd be like, "Yeah, them Duke boys <laughs> across the county line, go, go, go!" Yeah, because yeah, Roscoe P. Coltrane would lose all jurisdiction. Yeah, he can't. I can't. Name? I mean, I, huh? his name was Roscoe P. Coltrane. Roscoe yeah. P. Coltrane. No, hey, was it? Was it Chickasaw County, right? <laughs> It was Chickasaw County. They would go into the other county, and then yeah, then all, all hell broke loose. Oh, I thought you forgot the name of Hazard County. His <laughs> name was <laughs> well, they, they, But they were crossing the Chickasaw County, didn't they? I don't know. Chicka Bay, yeah, Sheriff Tay in the Way. Roscoe P. Coltrane was the name of the sheriff. And J.D. Hogg was Jefferson Davis Hogg. Mm. So if you don't think I got teased in, in uh, elementary school. So I went, I went to the... I went to the Turner up front because uh, I'm part of the Turner family, <laughs> and uh, uh, and it was really funny because I was there a couple years ago. I was there for the one that was before the elections, and 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 I remember at that one, I because remember we had um, um, Ali a shock hat on uh, shortly after that, and we had both just seen each other in New York, which is why she was on the show. We were at the Turner up and we were talking about it, how weird it was how much they were selling that the election was going to be a squeaker, which was extra made it extra funny this year because they were like, it was like Wolf Blitzer couldn't be found in the building. Like last time he was like front and center and was like promising these sponsors, like folks, like, like the, the, the barely unspoken, but practically spoken message was, Hey, Colgate, Nike, Heinz, whatever, whoever's here, like, 
don't be thinking that Hillary's got this in the bag. Like this is going to be a fucking barn burner. That's what a squeaker means. Yeah. Okay. They're like they're like they kept using that phrase, and they're like, and all of our research shows it's going to be a squeaker because it's like they're selling a television show called The News that right. hasn't happened yet. Well, a squeaker's one's advertisers. Close? Yeah, very close. Okay. Almost and, too and, close and, to tell. And, and so, so then this year. They come out like I missed. I missed a year probably, uh, but then so then this day they come out. It's like, you know, they're just they barely mention CNN. Like like, but except towards the end, and then they run this thing that's like this like poetry piece that's like about like what if everyone what started calling apples bananas, and then the and then right. there's like one girl who knows a an apple is an apple or something like that, and it's and it's but it's mostly just like visual stuff, and then there's like. A, understated like title that says like the truth is more important than ever right now it was like yeah i wonder why how'd that happen hmm. who created that fucking marketplace right. yeah the truth's pretty valuable right now like it's crazy how foggy it got there for a while remember the squeaker you cocks it's crazy how they keep paying people to come on their own channel and say these are oranges these are oranges yeah. these are oranges Give me money. Yeah, the company be, saying it's it's not they're not supposed to say that. Please please pay us five hundred thousand dollars for thirty seconds during Kellyanne Conway like spitting saliva into the camera and saying that uh, the the president's dick is big, so that Anderson Cooper can roll his eyes at it because the truth is more important than ever right now. He Thanks. has his, he has a big dick. Um, it's it's pretty big. Okay, I was I haven't watched it in a while. I wasn't yeah. sure. That he had that's a big canon. Day. That's canon. It's on really the news. wide. It's super wide. It's not very long. So it's wider than as long. <laughs> in high school, they called him trash can lid. Trash can lid. <laughs> because his dick is like fourteen inches wide, TKL, but it's only like right? about like two inches. Long. Like you can't like he could please like eleven school kids by spinning it. <laughs> Like, oh, like, okay. like, like, they, and it's not even against the law because it's technically zonable as playground equipment. Oh, it's one of those little things you sit on. You can, yeah. it's called yeah. sin spin, right? Yeah, it's called sin spin. Just yeah. don't yeah. let that. I mean, that's been co opted by the porn industry as being like, you oh, know, has different. It? I thought it was a, I was a spinner. Well, that's a squeaker. Right, and spinner. A squeaker, <laughs> a squeaker <laughs> and a spinner. That's the same. This one's going to be a spinner. It's a squeak and spin. A snapper. A spin, a squeak. It's red snapper, squeak and spin, all the way till the red end. Snapper, squeak and spin. That's just a great fish. Yeah. I got a huge dent in my head where that where that, I hit my head in, in in New York and like. I thought then, that was just shingles. Yeah, so you don't. No, think it that wasn't. Was shingles it anymore. wasn't shingles. It was a wound, and then Still the there? and then the. I hate to. I, I I don't. I'm not a big fan of using the word scab, but uh, oh. like, I got a <laughs> union use it. strong. The scab. The scab. Uh, because I, 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 different people are squeamish about different stuff, and uh, to me, scabs are kind of gross if people talk about them a lot, sure. but. Uh, there's no way around it this time. I, I had a big scab on my head, and it came away. But the what do you mean it came away? But the, even though there You're wasn't, uh, I'm trying. I'm trying not to say the, use the gross it, words it, for like gross. a scab probably, coming probably off. It, 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 it off. It sloughed off. But it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's like as if the scab was like like even though when I got the head wound, it wasn't. It it didn't. It wasn't actively bleeding. It, but then it turned into this big scab, and then when the scab came away. There's a divot now where the scab was. It's like where the scab the scab was like gonna like heal my head, but then just collapsed my scalp like like where the wound was and started working on knitting the flesh back up. And then I maybe I picked the scab too much, and then they're like, there's, "Fuck there's it, you no, want to fucking?" There's no flesh up there though to to move. It's just right. like it a has very to thin go layer from the of skin. Up. That's what I'm saying. A... Like if you oh. felt my head right now, you'd think there was bone damage because there's nothing up there I but do. skull. Can right? I, you might I have bone my head, Can we take turns? I'm thinking I feel it. It might be Morgellons disease. Get Mark Ellen's disease. Uh, Morgellons disease. It Morg could be Ellen's. That's a uh, Morgellons. Morgellons. More M O R G E L L O N S. I thought it was Morgellons. Is it Morgellons? Well, I think if you have Morgellons, you can say it however you want. It's sort of like gang stalking. Gang it's like, stalking. It's like gang stalking the disease. Morgellons disease. What is it? What's gang stalking? Gang stalking is when you think a bunch of people are stalking you all the time, and you go on coast to coast AM and talk about it every night. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're right. That's gang stalking. And Morgellons disease is when you think the aliens have put fibers in your body and they're growing out of your skin, like colorful fibers, because you've been experimented by the government. And the gang stalks, they, they stalk you because the government is trying to keep track of you so you don't report it to CNN or to Coast to Coast AM. Oh. Yeah. I thought, was, if we talked about this, I don't know if we talked about this on this show, but I know Duncan was talking about this at one point where it's like uh, the people, people that um, – 
now that we live in this world where we're like like there's people who are using the woke language right. to and the to, to defend basically what 10 years ago we were we all just recognized as like you need help like 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 in terms of like mental illness like people oh, right. are people are saying people are using phrases like i identify as a person who has radio signals coming through his his teeth fillings right so you can't tell me that i i don't like you, you can't call me crazy. That's offensive. Yeah, my crazy is not your prom dress. Which is which is very interesting because it's like, yep, you got us. You fucking got us. I think that's George Norris been doing that forever, though. It kind of got. I think I think it's great that he does that. You guys I love that it? Art Bell would. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah. I it's like I, Art Bell was like he would just open the lines yeah. and go like, this I want to hear it. from time travelers. Yeah. Now I want to hear. About, yeah, if you're the Antichrist. Call in. Yeah, and he always does stuff where he when someone says something super crazy and you think he's about to call him on, he goes, "What color was the spaceship?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> or he says something. Like, there's these guys. They, what time there's a, was there's it? There's a podcast called um, Expanded Perspectives. I think that's what it's called, and it's two like Southern guys. I picture them both as looking like Charlie Daniels or like uh, like Dark Johnny Dynasty. Paycheck. Yeah, they, 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 I just, yeah and they, and because they, they, like, they talk like this. And they're they're both they're both they're both fine southern sounded gentlemen. They 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 razz each other about about whether or not the, the their their wife has got them whipped or how they're remodeling their kitchen. And the, uh, they're they're not they're not all the way like uh, you know they're not they're they're like into like Bigfoot and like uh, Dog Man and like yeah, like all this weird shit. Crazy. And then like anybody who writes to them, they'll just re if you just write to them and say. Uh, <laughs> like the one guy like, all right, well, we gotta get to some of these letters. Uh, dear expanded perspectives, I am a truck driver that was going down Highway Five, and I have a story to tell you. Oh boy, this sounds good. <laughs> like they, they like vocalize this stuff. Like I was driving when it suddenly my eyes picked up the sight of a giant lizard man on the side of the road. What? No! Like, 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 they, <laughs> like they often like like the guy go like, and it, I was standing face to face with a human dinosaur hybrid. What? Holy shit! What episode was that? <laughs> it's all of them. They they are, they are they doing a bit or are they really yes anding? I think they're kind of because because then I kept listening to it. I was like, wait, did they just? Did you do, did they just yes and everybody who writes in, but then th then sometimes they're kind of inexplicably skeptical. They're like, uh, well, I don't know if that really happened, but that's quite a story. Maybe it's the writing style that gets them sometimes. Yeah. Have you heard that uh, brainstorm versus uh, green needle shit? I heard it. Someone explained it to me, too, in a way that was like, oh, that's not fun. Well, here's another way that's not fun. That like, You, you see that commercial that the guy's like, stop the cash box and then it's like it's rock the cat box or something and it's like yeah they're doing rock the casbah and they're all getting the lyrics wrong it's like people have been hearing the wrong sounds forever i thought michael stipe had a lisp for 12 years right dan do you know this thing have you heard this i i let's see, let's see if it works up to the phone here it are you talking about the laurel yanni thing? yeah it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's like an extension this is a new of one it. but you it's the same thing think, it's on a loop you either think in your head Think yeah. the word brainstorm or think the word green words needle. green needle. Okay. And there's one right answer. Come on. Go away. I just don't like all these people trying to act like they hear Yanny. No one fucking hears Yanny. Okay. Well, that's... I'm proud to say I hear neither. That sounds like a laser... <laughs> I hear what I think, man. I, th I totally hear what I think. You're not looking at it. It's crazy. I just don't, I don't think I think the acoustics aren't ideal for this. Yeah, this that's is, the point. That's it. part of it is that you just parse it because you you're given incomplete information yeah, and your brain puts a perception the, on the it robot to give voice it a is, spin. Is, is broken up into like very low frequencies and very high frequencies. So you, when you pick one, you're telling your brain, "I want to hear the high frequency, which is green needle is a higher register sound than brainstorm." Which I will lower. say I watched a video clip, as most of us probably did, of a guy like using his little sound app to like move the frequencies and demonstrate but he was only demonstrating for me that all i ever hear is laurel yeah right like I, he's, he's like look bloop, bloop, bloop. Like, yeah look let's round up these yanny people and fucking put an end well, to this that's the thing because they're a psychos weird phenomenon i agree <laughs> It's, but isn't it probably like pe well, people hearing different? I mean, right, I mean at but different they're frequencies? being weird. They're not being right. They're being aberrant. 
like that's they might the have thing. bad phones. Right, but that's that's aberrant. Like that's all not because that's the thing. The fact is, it did say Laurel. The fact is that did say brainstorm. It does, in certain circumstances, say sound Green Needle, and that's and that's an accurate perception. But it's an accurate aberrant perception of reality. You know, that's the thing. But it's that's like, what our brains are the, is simply making snap quick decisions. Right, just like people simply are reality. wrong about stuff. They're wrong about it being Yanny. There's always been people that are convinced of something wrong. Like we shouldn't pretend that, that they're that, right just because they feel like they're right. No, they're wrong. That blue dress, gold dress shit, I never understood it. Same thing. That's yeah. just, just your monitor settings and how what your brightness is at. <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not like a well, it's also there is an empirical color of the actual dress in the world, but the picture is subject to context. I went to the a most place boring in, in, thing in, the in Atlanta, <laughs> and I'm vegetarian, and I wanted vegetarian biscuits and gravy, and they're like, all of our gravy is vegetarian, but they don't kind of want that out there. Why would you can't <laughs> make vegetarian? You can't make biscuits and gravy without. With, you can't do that. Yes, you can. Well, listen up. Uh, I'll say you can't do that, Mister Jeff. With I that saw, sausage. I saw I saw a true crime show where the guy everything came down to what was in the guy's stomach because if he if he if he had gone anywhere else since the restaurant where he supposedly had breakfast, uh, uh, then I don't know it's someone else killed him other than his ex wife or whatever. But it became very important like where he had eaten because he had onions in his stomach. Right. And, he, and he was like, he always orders that the hash browns with no onions. And we don't put hash browns in our onions at the diner. And, the, and like, the case goes cold and, like, because because it doesn't say onions on the menu and the hash browns. And the the guy said, I've been working here 10 years. I've never put onions in the hash browns. And then, and then the whole thing gets resolved. And what the cop is like, you know what? I'm just going to go over there and watch him make the hash browns. And the kid, this is like a regular kitchen at a diner. The guy is like mixing all the fucking food together. There's onions everywhere. There's onions on the fucking spatula. Yeah, so there was an onion in his stomach. Ten years, the fucking... Forensic files? I don't know what it was. All I know is that justice is is uh, not... It's it doesn't... It's, it's not uh, helping. Well, it's blind in a bad way, it turns out. <laughs> <laughs> the bad guys, the bad guys get away with a lot, and yet yeah. I know that if I tried to commit a crime tomorrow, the same for the same reason that I never would, I would fail. I would get caught immediately. That's all about dog hair. That you want to speak on that these days? Well, that's the thing is like I have dog hair over all over me all the time. I constantly have oh. covered in dog hair. Do you have a so they dog? They test your dog. You have a dog. Okay, good. And I don't know. Most people have dog. Like a lot of people have dogs right. or a cat. And that seems to be like never factors in. Like if you're covered, I can't oh, get oh. away. I can't get the dog oh, hair you're, off you're the trying, You're wondering why you're getting it worse than, uh, than how, come, how come everybody doesn't always have dog hair all over them? How come like people no. aren't constantly caught doing things right. in forensic files or cold case shows because, well, this is clearly your dog's hair on you. Yeah, there's oh, this oh, orange oh, yeah. dog hair found on the scene of yeah. crime, and you have this orange dog or whatever. Not even even the color. I don't know if they do DNA they for could. dogs. But, but isn't it weird? Like forensic files, it's always like, and then he stepped on a hamburger bun after using his bare feet <laughs> because good. he didn't want to get fresh. These, these people almost get away with it all the time. Yeah. Like they're the they're the craziest people. They're like, well, I really want to like sexually assault this person, but I didn't bring any gloves, so I'm going to put my shoe on my head and use it as a hat. And it's like they almost get away with it, but then they like slip on a hamburger bun, and then like a hamburger bun expert spends six million dollars like reconstructing his. Toe with an anthropologist or something, like 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 w th 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 those guys almost get away with it, which means a bunch of them do. These are, uh, forensic files are about the unlucky criminals. Mm -hmm. If I I, I would a, never have a boat. I would have never a boat. commit a crime ever. Like 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 what, what kind I, I would of crime maybe now? commit the crime of elitism and like 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 hating the poor or something. You know, like a, 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 an ethical crime of like thinking i'm above other people and that i'm allowed to like maybe i maybe i would like dress as a woman to escape the titanic that kind of thing like i could see myself like doing something incredibly cowardly like 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 I, I, if i was a soldier at war i could see myself maybe like digging a tunnel and hiding deserting yeah like like i i, I, I growing a potato farm underneath the ground and waiting for the war to be over something like that like yeah, a crime like crime like that you would have been an instant nazi collaborator no that's not just don't say that. 
That's the, you would that's, have rolled over right off, right off the bat. No, because I do. There's only I, not because I'm a hero, but because there's lines I got. I just like I wouldn't. I would the lazier. It's hard to be. It's like I wouldn't. I would be like fucking kill me. Down and, to and, the and, bed. And, and, and kill me fast. I'm not gonna fucking live a life as a fucking background actor in uh, 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 Schindler's List. Like 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 I I was in Boy Scouts for six weeks, and I was like, there's no bicycle rodeos here. Charlie Brown lied in that commercial. This fucking this is like. like that was too fascist for me. I can't fucking toe that line. I am. I'm, I'm not saying you're a fascist. I'm saying that you, they would they would have your number right off the bat. Yeah, they would kill me. Like I would be like, just kill me. You're Nazis, and I'm never gonna. I'll fuck it all no, up. That's for not you. how the Nazis do it. I know, but they're not gonna give me anything that I'm gonna want. They I'm might gonna be flatter like, you and get you to work for them. No, I, don't, I, I can't imagine that happening. You're like, gonna give them something that they, they want. They don't. They don't need anything. Oh, you mean I might turn in the Jews under my floorboards? Certainly. I, 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 I'm you not did gonna, that. I'm not going to sit here and say that I wouldn't do that because it's tacky to assign yourself that that like hero to him. You know, well, I like, wouldn't I, do that. But I'd never do that. But I, I'm not afraid to say it. I'll, t I'll, t I'll tell you. I mean, that's why I was experiencing so much stress at the, after the election is because I do feel that in my heart of hearts that push, if push does come to that kind of shove. Some fucking like thing in me is gonna take it to that place, and I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna die for those people under my floorboards because I'm because and it won't be because I'm like a good person as much as it'll be because I'm like, like I'm just driven by anxiety and guilt and shame and like I'll just like fucking take it all the way, and I don't I don't want to do that. So please, can we unelect this Nazi before shit gets dramatic? But but I also recognize that I can't say that I would have courage in the face of anything like that. I, I I'm a coward, and because I'm a coward, like I think that I would rather die than uh, allow a Nazi to uh, have their way. Like because I'm a I'm a chicken shit. So I'd be like, but isn't that brave? I, it's 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 nuanced. I just think, I'm so dedicated to cowardice that I'm like we we can't have we can't have this Nazi business going on. You got yeah, I'm gonna have to poison you with my tea and then I'm gonna blow my brains out. Thank you. No, and yeah, maybe I'll, if I could get close to Hitler, I'm gonna eat a grenade. I think a lot of bravery is fear based as well. <clears throat> different like, people. I think I think I think bravery is like intelligence. Like there's different kinds of it. I think there are some people who are like, well, I would never ever ever do what you did and it's like this thing that you consider dumb you know like like i mean you know a lot of people have stage fright that's, that's a stupid example but i'm, I'm reading right. all these spy novels recently like like john le Carre and stuff and uh th there's, there's all this stuff like they call them like talent spotters where like they, they go out and they like like oh like i i heard your podcast or i i i overheard you at the bar you're somebody that we absolutely could use to be a mole or defect from your home country mm -hmm. and work for us. I'm in. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's called I, live the tape. I, I, I think I think I would have been a like a good kind of low level spy. Well, I'm glad to hear you admitting that you would. Yeah, they would come at you through your fashion sense. They would be like, because you'd be like these Nazis. They they got pretty uniforms. Like you you they, they value a nice shoehorn or whatever you people think about. That might be how they got you. Yeah. They'd be like. Mr. Davis, don't you agree, do you not agree that these mud people have no um, a sense no, I'm of, not, I'm not of work style? For the Nazis. I'm not going to work for the Nazis because they're well-dressed. But the British or the Americans could have hired me to go infiltrate the Nazis because I could I could pull well, off. We all, the so we, obviously, we would all opt to be a British spy in the, in the event I'd of like the... I'd like to be a French spy, personally, but... Probably easier work, right? Well, you get to be underground, you know, you get to hide and yeah, kind of. The, there's a lot of napping. The it's resistance. Like, mostly Yelp reviews. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's how we took them down. Undermining German restaurants. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know if I would call this bouillabaisse. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> that's oh dumb. God. I'm acting like I know anything about it. But, but, but no, but I'm sorry. Yeah, here's what you're saying, Jeff, because you're uh, not conceited, just convinced. You're like, Oh, in this special episode, like, like you know, they'll do an X-Files where it's like it's a black and white episode and it's aboard the Titanic and there's Nazis and stuff. Like, in this special episode of our lives where there's a Nazi takeover, like, you're like, oh, I'd just end up being a double agent because I'd be really I'd be really suited to that task. Like, yeah, OK, like. Uh, 
It's what, what nice I, what, work what, if you can get it, but what, like what I, what I, most of us that, are going to end up being that guy in the beginning of uh, Inglorious Bastards, where it's like you have you have your daughters and your pile of firewood and and a glass of milk, and you got a fucking choice to make. And how did what was the slip up in that? I forget. He just he caves. He what do you mean? What's the slip up? How did they find? He doesn't like the Jew, the Jew hunter, whatever he calls himself, is like it's a, it's it's establishing that this guy is so. So six cents. He's so intense that that he doesn't even need to do the shit from Schindler's List in order to get you to, like, his, his Nazism is like so fuck. It's like a fucking Darth Vader power that like, right. like, like this guy that he just like insidiously and intimately like like weaves his his brain into this guy, and then it's just like just just all you have to do is just just move your eyes differently, and we'll take care of everything. And, and the then guy just did like, that. Yeah. I think I, I must have just gone to the bathroom or something at that part. I think. <laughs> missed the eye movement. Yeah. Did they say when they, uh, like, from my zero knowledge of spycraft and all that jazz, uh, when they when they find timid people, like 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 if there's a spy that knows something, like people who work for Disney, <clears throat> uh huh? People who work for Disney are that way. Shy. People who work for Disney. The company Disney. Yes, they find timid people. Well, yeah, pretty much everyone. If you ever go to Disneyland, everyone you'll talk to will be very nice, but also very meek. I think it's a thing they actively seek out people who are like very, like timid and meek, and they make they make great Disneyland employees. I worked there for a while. I guess you're right. <laughs> you did. Yeah. But you're hard, Jeff. Huh? You're hard. I was too hard. I couldn't. I couldn't fucking do it, man. Yeah. I mean, That's they had. They they had a. Cowboy show, so they hired you for a little bit because they're like, we need a fucking swinging dick. But but <laughs> did you really guy, work there? Yeah, I did. When? Oh uh, fuck, I don't know. Late nineties. What did you do there? When they were getting rid of the electric of the Main Street electric parade, they brought it back. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> the second one sucked. The, the, uh, uh, they, the, the solar parade. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Fake news. Weak lights. Yeah, I mean, what it was a what is a parade without a little bit of a footprint? Yeah, it's all feet. You can't stand <laughs> there and just uh, photosynthesize. That's not a parade. No, I, I did the improv and stuff on the parade route, and then did you do milk uh, bubble throat? And I wrote these sketches that were on, on Frontierland for like a decade. No, I, I was there for like two years. It was fun. Called him on his bubble throat. I, Hell I, I, yeah. I did bubble throat. I, I actually fucking roasted. I have polyp throat. I have a. I have a. I, have a, I actually have a bubble in my throat. All right, high roasted. That was different. You had that, and then it stopped, and you went back to polyp. It was. It's, I have a polyp on my vocal fold. I agree. It's pretty I, gross. I'll post you, a photo of it. You're still talking and stuff? I can talk, but it, it's you're not like supposed I can to, feel right? like I have a marble in my Yeah. Throat. You're going to get it removed? You We're don't want to. It's, surgery on that is very, very dangerous because if, if it scars, then you never talk or sing again. All I'll right. tell you who I'm not going to be, those fucking March Violets that you told me about. Like, you can see shades of that happening with the... Uh, that when Kanye uh, lost his grip a little bit, and then, but it wasn't him that was disturbing because he's Kanye. He, 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 it was, it was, it was his wife, Mrs. Kardashian, who, w w as she was defending her husband rather gallantly, like she, she, part of her defense of him was like a little thematically arranged around this idea that, like. Um, this is I'm paraphrasing, but I got the message from her that like, you know, a year from now, you're all going to be into this. You know, it was like sort of, and I was like, that's exactly what we're bummed out. about. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, no shit. Like, like it's called fucking March. Violence. It's called a fucking coup. Like, I, I, yeah, that's why we don't we're not enjoying it. Can we have your permission to not enjoy it? Like, like, like it's not all like this is like. The fucking cerulean blue. Yeah, it's gonna come down to like, the, the, but our version of March violence would be like, like, like you know what that is. You saying violets or violence? Violets, like a flower. Okay. Like, it's, it's like it's a late blooming flower, and it was what right. they called Nazis that joined the party later. Oh. So if you had a really low people who tweeted uh, all about get this fucking guy out of here, they were given a little bit of a amnesty, especially the rich. People, right, because you know? they needed a, a coveted thing was a very low, like early Nazi Party number. 
And if you were like had a really long like late, later day number, you joined in the forties. It took to, you long it, enough. It, how yeah. many how many fucking camps did we have to build before you d- realized that it was? Uh... And then people would die, and there was a lot of like like black market trading. It's like, can I get your like? I, I, let's kill this guy, and I'm going to take his party number, so it'll look like I joined in 1938 mm-hmm. and not 1944. Can absolutely set. That's exactly what's going to happen. Like it's going to except it's going to be like services that wipe out your Twitter feed. It's going to be well, like that's with, with it, Kanye. That's gonna, it's going to be like the serial number on your on your MAGA hat. Like, I got this MAGA hat. Well, the dot I was connecting, Johnny, was that when she, when Kim Kardashian was uh, was defending Kanye, which I want to be sympathetic to her because obviously she, I think, I, I mean, like, I, I like humanity. I, I think if you love your husband and blah, 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 like, I know there's a lot of, there's a lot of well-intended controversy about this stuff because it comes down to, to, to issues that I find actually appealingly human because there are some people who are like, Oh, is it mental health issues and all this stuff. Like, it's good. Let's all have that conversation. Let's all go round and round. But so I, I'm not bagging on anybody for like, for 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 shouting at a throng of peasants. You know, stop judging my husband. Um, that's so just that's bad. That's just an expression of love. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm I'm not judging anybody for that, and it, nor is it like, I'm just saying that while she was doing that, there were a couple things that she said that kind of just like like part of her defense of him was like you know he's always been ahead of the curve you know (laughs) that you you, you, it's it's like 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 people always make fun of him for you know it wasn't it was it wasn't all the way that but it was like there was just this enough of a taste of it that it was just like ah that's exactly that's exactly what you're what i'm afraid you're right about she might be right she might be of course she might be i mean this is the thing you can't trust rich people fucking people to lead the charge against a fascist coup they're gonna fucking flip as soon as soon as the front stops holding they're gonna be like okay how do i keep my house yeah i, I love i love his line where he said uh poopity scoopity poopity scoopity yeah he, when he said that poopity scoopity that was a dog I thought, whistle you know what he makes a good point <laughs> i hadn't considered that angle what he's trying to say is you should when you see poop you should joyfully pick it up you should poopity scoopity. You shouldn't be like. Oh, is this I have something to pick that he said shit. in a song? Or yeah, is it yeah. His, a his latest song. single, the cor- this is why I think the whole Kanye thing. I think it's all sort of a um, a publicity smokescreen. It's a smokescreen that he he's trying to obfuscate the fact that he used poopity scoopity in a song. I don't think <laughs> that he gives a shit about Trump at all. Well, I really don't. I I certainly will agree with you there. I mean, there's no, there's absolutely no question that he has not a single thought in his head about. Uh, foreign policy right or, i mean he's that yeah but but that, that, well, that, that's a little wait. different from saying that he's fucking he Hugh, does have Hugh jackman a, in the prestige he has a beef with I've obama <laughs> and obama Kanye trump does? yeah and trump is anti-obama because obama came out it was this because obama is super west coast yeah <laughs> he's like <laughs> oh this old scott style he's chicago though man that's all that's the third coast <laughs> <laughs> no, but like Obama got caught on tape by like BuzzFeed or something, like calling Kanye a jackass. And so, like, I think Kanye took it really personally being a jackass. And yeah. so he's like, you know, fuck you. And then then he comes about saying, like, what did Obama do for Chicago? And that's just, you know, he's just trying to be a douche. Like, yeah. and so Trump is saying the same thing. And he's like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We hate this guy. In his defense, if Which you're ever going to take political... anything the president says personally, it should be him calling you a jackass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you should take it so personally you change your life. Not you should be like the president. He's the one that's wrong. Well, I don't know. But, but in Trump's defense, black billionaire rapper employment is way up. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyways, no, the March violence thing. That's what I was, uh, was, uh, was talking about. Just, I just, I just pictured, it was, it was like, it was like, yeah, like we're going to get desensitized to that concept too. It's like, oh, did you hear, uh, Bruce Willis? Like, uh, he fucking flipped and whatever. It's like, yeah, of course the, the rich people are going to flip before the people that are going to die in pain yeah, it's like kanye said like I, I don't think of america's racist if i thought america's racist i'd move somewhere else which is easy to say if you can afford to pick up and go every, anywhere you want well, Lil wayne said the same thing he like left the interview with katie kirk years ago saying the same thing he's basically like he basically said i'm a very wealthy man and i wouldn't be wealthy if racism was that big a deal in america yeah and he uh says it in a way like he was like kind of calling out the Black Lives Matter movement because he doesn't really support it because she asked him about that. And um, 
It's kind I of a compl- I mean, yeah, like like I think Je- to Jeff's point, like, it's like yeah, but that. that there aren't that many jobs. I mean, yeah, it's like it's like our like like I think that's part of the problem is that we isn't that kind of like a yeah it's like a that's like a senator jog coming in from jogging and going like oh it seems pretty cold out there today global warming my foot you know like yeah like, it's well, like a well not, it's a response scale it's a response to experiencing racism you have to you have you you experience racism or you see it somewhere and you have to make a decision either this is wrong and unjust or somehow I'm doing my thing right and right. other people have just messed up and that's why I haven't failed is because it's yeah. not because I got lucky. It was because I did something right. Yeah, so I think that's really important. White to, people uh, do that too. I think that's I think that's important for Americans to recognize and forgive is that because I think that's an that's a that's a that's a we don't want that to be different about us that we that we mythologize the idea of individual choice and that we believe in the mythology of like you you have that your choices make you who you are we certainly don't want to abandon that god knows it's sometimes kind of relaxing to to just to abandon it and god knows it 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 does not apply so much that you sh- that that your unhappiness is your own fault but right. it is it is nice that we go that at the that, that, that it's it's like yeah it's like it's like 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 unlike the global warming example if you're a rich rapper and you go uh well i must have done something right right like like and, and like like you want that person thinking that way because you you don't want them thinking well i won the lottery i'm not talented at all i didn't do any i didn't make good choices i shouldn't i i'm i'm just uh, hanging out and doing nothing like we don't want we don't want us thinking that way we want us to think you know i i i i got out of bed and i did something and because i did it this way instead of that way now i'm a billionaire we like that mythology yeah I mean, the it, bootstraps it, it'd be accurate. nice if we fucking supported it with a middle class economy that didn't reward you for being born rich more than people get rewarded for earning money right exactly because that's the thing it's like it's not like that's not true it's there's also this layer that obscures everything and makes it a bit more complicated so you can't say no that's an entirely false premise that does not exist on planet earth it's like there's that and there's also this thing that i was talking about you know that's still a factor I don't know. It's a it's it's a shame because like that's an example of like somebody saying something incredibly provocative that's going to put them in this crossfire. But really, what they're doing is is a little bit healthier than than a lot of stuff because at least they're using their I statements. Like they're 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 saying, well, all I know is this. You yeah, know? but this is this is my experience. It gets kind of insidious because it gets into what they call, I think, respectability po- politics, which is basically you have to shut up and deal with black on black crime or anything before you're allowed to make any political complaint, which is just a precondition on political argument that doesn't exist for any other race. Like no one has ever been like, you have to solve all your problems before you can say taxes should be different. You know, it's like it's fundamentally this thing that says you're not allowed to talk about this. And that's what's kind of what's insidious it was when it builds into that narrative but oh, man, it yeah. doesn't have to you know yeah that's so fucked up that right we, yeah we we go like oh if if somebody talks about the uh wealth distribution and they're rich then you go like oh you're rich so you can't talk about it yeah don't it's, you why not you should give all your money away then isn't that a logical fallacy though what's that called when you talk about is that a straw man thing what's the call when you talk about like oh well this is so bad but right you know but this is worse false equivalence false equivalence <sighs> i could see. Ad hominem, kind of that's a personal hominem. attack. It's kind of Word like a strong man. Ergo hawk, propter hawk. Yeah, it's... If this, it's, therefore that, or something. I don't know. Well, that's because it doesn't follow. I mean, I don't know. Strong it's, man would be it's fair. It's one of them. Because it's like saying, it's saying you're wrong because you're not adhering to this, my heightened version of it that you never said. So it's kind of strong, Manny. Well, as they see it, they see it play out because like if a if a if an oligarch says something like, "I don't see why we're spending uh, tax money repairing these potholes on Martin Luther King Boulevard," then somebody might shame them by going, "You don't live in that neighborhood," or "I'm right. running for senator of this district," and they go like, "You've never you were born in in this place," and it's like that that gets successfully and rightfully used against like the bad guys sometimes, and then. But then someone goes, I think prison reform should be a thing. And then someone goes like, you haven't been to prison. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't want to wait until I get there. You fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that's the thing. It's like so much that's precedent in our politics is like trying to entertain these bad faith, like, 
obstacles to even being allowed to talk politically. It's like you have to clear all these hurdles before they'll even let you speak. And it's like, well, no, that's not that's not how it works. But you have to choose to, like, cut through it rather than, like, play by those rules. And so it gets all fucked up. I think uh, there need to be more uh, Greyhound stations in rich neighborhoods. That could be big. That would be great. Yeah, I like, could see that. In Bel Air, because that's how that fire started. <laughs> fire started from a homeless encampment. Yeah. I saw this. I more like of that. it. I saw more this burning. guy, this, this could, story about this guy who, like, he was this judge, this New York chief judge who spent, like, half his lifetime like haranguing this woman who he was the he was in charge of her trust and because he and he was like he's doing this whole fucked up weird thing he was like stalking her and fucking with her and all stuff and then he got busted doing it and then he went to prison but he wrote a book while he was in prison about how crazy it is to be a judge that gets caught being a fucking criminal and then so then when he got out of prison he was a best-selling author and then he they I, they, they welcomed him back into the 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 you know whatever the fuck he could still hang out at the country club and all this stuff and he and the the woman's life was ruined and stuff but like and then they played a clip of him being on Larry King or something and he uh, after prison yeah after all of this and now he's he's on his victory lap like like making his millions on his book about how how much he's you know learned about it's how not to get killed in prison it's, or it's or it's like you know meditations on how how nutty it is oh. to be a judge and then be in prison and then be a best-selling author like by me and and, and uh and, I, I wrote a book called how to uh, learn how to make a prison belt and larry larry king goes like wow. it's in the clip larry king's going like now you uh i can't do a larry king impression but you know so you but you you did you did terrible things you you, you did them you 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 ruin this woman's life and, and then goes oh yeah no absolutely i mean it's what i did there's no there's no excuse for it you know you you find yourself um doing this thing and you 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 do this and then you do that you do that and i was like i was like because i've been in therapy i'm like ah he's a fucking like 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 that you, that you thing no that royal you it's it's like it's like I do that all the time. He's taking it away from himself. He's yeah, like, it's and it's it's like it's like compulsive, and I I know that seems like a non sequitur, but it's like it it's kind of like what we're doing when we talk about politics. Like we we're constantly like tap dancing between like we don't want intimacy, we don't want to just be vulnerable, and right. s because we might end up saying something that's that's not very fashionable and actually gets tomatoes thrown at us. Like, well, I'm a rich black baseball player. So America been very good to me, you know, like the old Garrett Morris bit or whatever, like Sammy. So is that Sammy? So the, 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 like, like you, you don't, you, so we have to like, you, like, we, like we're constantly like as, as, as primates, like we, we, we feel like we can't just go through life actually just expressing ourselves. Because we'll, well, then we'll get, we'll get beaten up for being like just t kind of like, I don't know what we'll call that narcissism or tunnel vision or selfishness. But like, so you, you get rewarded over time for like talking about how the world should be or what the world's feeling or because that's empathy. Well, I know how that person feels and all that stuff. But then that turns into this whole different kind of like, uh, uh, total. It's like we were uh, pandering. Yeah, like you don't even. It's, it's just association. Like you're still a sociopath because now you're talking about everyone but yourself. You're you're not right. selfless by doing that. You just can projecting. be a fucking horrible, like, uh, person that's just like, oh, well, I'm certainly I'm not going to sit in my own skin during this conversation. I'm going to be everyone else in the world, which is what politicians are really good at. Like I'm that's here all for they do. You, man, what do you need? Holy shit. 9-11. Oh, shut up. Why don't you make a golem? It's crazy, man. I wanted to learn about it because it is this weird quintessentially Jewish mythology that's also like a dragon. It's like what if like there was like this famous Muslim Pegasus or like, you know, a famous Sphinx or something. It's just really weird. The famous Catholic leprechaun. A Catholic leprechaun, <laughs> yeah. The Catholic, the giant leprechaun of... Of, of St. James Saint Cathedral. James there are Catholic sucks giants its own dick. and Catholic <laughs> zombies. <laughs> now, what they famed, oh, I'm, go I'm going to send an Irish controlled. golem after them. The I is, am at your command, Bagosh and Bagora. <laughs> what go, you need, man? Go slay my enemies. 
<laughs> I will do that a big top of the morning. I oh, find it. I find I woke it, up the, late. the only racist part of of the the, the great Irish leprechaun of St James Cathedral <laughs> is that he's famous for sucking his own dick, <laughs> but not famous for being a giant leprechaun. Like that's <laughs> well, the a lot of people like say he's a normal person. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so he's the, he's the world's tallest giant. A lot of people okay, accuse right. him of being a five foot eleven. Yeah, so he might just be a guy that sucks his own dick. He's five yeah. eleven, but so is his dick. <laughs> it's a big old nice. ripping rope. My you dick know, is by the way, as far as Jewish mythology, the, the listeners to our podcast will know that uh, uh, the Jewish community created uh, another uh, math, a modern myth called Superman. The two Jewish kids created Superman. Oh really? yeah. They're always making stuff. Those Jews. But they, they, pronou- tell- they pronounced it Superman. 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 Superman was just, it, 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 the original pronunciation was, was Superman. Superman. Spiderman. <laughs> Superman. Clark. Superman. It's so. I it's. Think, I think it's a Paul of Tompkins bit. I know, but it's, it's still so. I mean, it's also probably beyond that, but it's like just. It really is funny. Just Aquaman. saying Superman. Anytime you have like a man word that you can say like with the min instead, it's always funny. Batman. Yeah. Batman. Like that was the one. There, the uh, the goy editor at uh, DC Comics was like, "Boys, look, I love Superman." Can we make it two words? Can we? But could we just? I. You know, can we just? I don't want to. Uh, in, it was a very touchy time. It's the 1930s. I don't want to go there. I don't want to compromise you. It's, could we just pr- pronounce it different? You Superman. Know? Superman. St- like, oh, the boys oh. love and then, and then the two brothers are like out on the sidewalk because like they it divides them down the middle. It's like this is for our fucking uncle. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, don't, you don't call it an iceberg. Yeah. <laughs> it's Superman. It's Berge. It was the one okay? stick, and the, and the other brother is like, "We take the, this one thing, and then we have the first Jewish character in popular pick, culture." Pick your battles. He's, pick your battles. It's a Trojan horse. He he wears a Jewish cape. He has he, Jewish X-ray vision. He's from he's he's, Jewish he's from eyes. space Israel. Um, the only way you can b- beat him is by d- d- digging up a chunk of it. And he's got he's he's, he's got to put him. He's got he's to put him. He's got those. He come from the planet Putnam, right? What was his? What was his planet? Krypton. What was it, you forgot? Scorpion. Putnam. Cladro. It was, originally, it was Putnam. Putnam. Her was. Uh, her was. Um, what do you but call yeah, it? But yeah, Jor 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 El and, and, and it was originally Jura. Wiz Khalid. What's what? I can't Wiz remember. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. It's Jor Jor, Jor El and what's the Jor Jor Jor? What 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 is Superman's actual name? Kal El. Clark Kent. Kal El. Sounds very Hebrew. Clark oh, yeah. Kent. <sighs> and he has a weakness to Afi Komen. You know what Kalel means in Hebrew? Uh, check, please. <laughs> 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 I'm just doing jokes that sound like Jewish jokes. Like, I don't even know. Check, please. They're probably incredibly... It means I got enough, <laughs> I got enough aggravation. <laughs> it means does... humidity. I don't know. <laughs> I just, there's just, like, word yes. connections Jarell, that you've heard. Jarell means but... why me? Jarell? Jor- Jarrell. Jarrell. Yes. How do you spell Jarrell? G. It's like Jarrell. Jarrell? I'm sure it's J O R E L. Jarrell? I don't, I don't know. There's a dash in I'm there. I'm not a Jewish comedy or comic book fan. You know, the way they changed it from Bruce Banner to David Banner, they actually changed in the new Superman movies. He's, he's from Purell. That's oh, been our show, handsome. everybody. Thanks it's... for coming. <laughs> 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 and now a word from our sponsor Gold Bond Powder. Apron is the place for me. I'm not going out tonight. You see, I'm going to stay in and pretend to cook when I get ingredients. And that this is like a good meter. No, I'm not going to go time. shopping because I have social anxiety problems. Chromacle. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going into the grocery store to buy a bunch of fucking mushy, slimy lettuce from a fucking corporate grocery store. Promo code Harmontown. Why don't you go to get your lettuce from like a nice farmer's market? Uh... Because those are run by ISIS. I'm going to Blue Apron for all of my needs. They're farm to mouth. <laughs> Is that they, the they phrase? They put it in your mouth. Far- it's, it's, uh, it's, it's farm to mouth. It's, they skip the whole table. It's, it's, it's fork to mouth. Fork to mouth, double penetration. What about the packaging? Uh, it comes in a blue apron. Okay, so that's like fully recyclable. Yeah, you unfold it and then you wear what it came in. It's all compostable. And it's already got it's food on it. And it's made it's made of fruit roll up so you can eat you can eat the you can eat the apron. See, I was always concerned with the packaging, but now that I know that it's all made of fruit roll ups, I love it. Yeah, it's fresh farm to mouth <laughs> to ingredients to, to stomach to butt 
it's to, fully sustainable. It's a toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's farmed to farm bowl. You will farm be farmed to toilet. toilet food. Your hunger will you be sewn milk, ass to mouth. Yeah. Who does the chewing? <laughs> <laughs> or a human centipede too, where the the guy goes. Were you a fan of the movie? Yeah, the, well, there's a guy. The guy's a fan of the movie. That's the, that's that's, and he's collecting people in the factory in the warehouse, and then he's dumping them all in there. And then there's and then there's a plot point where one of the thirty people that are all like bound and gagged, that are like trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Why is this guy abducting them all? And then like a guy shakes his gag loose and says to all of the other abductees, "Goes, he's he's referring to the movie." Human centipede. It's a movie. Have you seen it? Pause, pause, pause. He's gonna sew his ass to mouth. <laughs> and every everyone everyone reacts immediately. Even though the guy does keep repeating, he's gonna sew us ass to mouth. Um, his plaintiff wails are by nature repeated, but that's more for him because as soon as he says he's gonna sew us ass to mouth. Um, everyone acts like they just heard the most recognizable f sentence <laughs> in the world. Like they're under duress, they're bound in deck. He's gonna sew us ass to mouth. Oh, oh no! Oh no, not that! Not that I old, would be like, what? Not that old trope. What? <laughs> yeah, he's, everyone he, hide yeah, under the what, bed. What, what a hack! He's gonna sh <laughs> he's gonna show us ha hazimuth. What? I, I would I would I would be I would need to I would need to ask a thousand times. What did you say? Did you say Yanny? He's gonna <laughs> sew us ass to mouth. I heard something different. <laughs> I heard green needle. <laughs> they all act like 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 the guy just said like the room's filling up with water. Right, exactly. Everyone oh! knows what that means. <laughs> Ass to mouth. That isn't, uh, that, isn't that old. Work. That old. That old primal uh, fear. Someone sewing you ass to mouth. That old. That <laughs> phrase that triggers an immediate crisis. And it's <laughs> circular too. It's circular. Is it a closed circuit? I'm not gonna. Be, oh no, I don't want to be sewn ass to mouth. Who does? Yeah. I was talking to Dino recently that dogs would love to be sewn ass to mouth. That's probably. But but to what? Yeah, that would be. That, like yeah, like that, they love that's, shit. That's, that's dog My heaven. dog get a bunch and of shit. And dog heaven is just a, it's just right. an endless string of dogs with, with, with right. a muzzle attached to another dog's butt. Canine centipede. That's not a horror movie. I think no. it's got to be though. It's got to be the other way around. It's gotta <laughs> that's, be... a, that's a Pixar feel good. Yeah. Kind of... Canine centipede is like awakening. Yeah. It's, it's like a, a feel good movie. Oscar movie. <laughs> or it's cat 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 dog. <laughs> Yeah, it's, they yeah, love. Cat I had a dog shit. when I lived in New York as a kid. And that dog loved to eat horse shit. Just we just eat it like it was just. <laughs> Dogs love horse shit. You know, eat just just couldn't get enough horse shit. My dog grew up on horse shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cody's and, and dog. That's, that's why his coat was so shiny. She grew up on a horse shit farm. <laughs> that's the secret. You know, dogs have a secret, and that's redefined success. Yeah. <laughs> that's... Like they eat horse shit, and they're like, "Fuck yeah, I'm nailing it." Yeah. There's grass in here. He didn't finish this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Elephants and like a lot of herbivores go back and eat their own poop because like hey, we kind of digested none of that. Right, right. Our stomachs aren't made to really. Well, cellulose. It's hard to break down. Uh, we the, should the, redefine the veg success. The vegetative yeah, cell yeah. wall is uh, eating almost impossible to digest. Animals that have developed to graze have intensely crazy labyrinthine digestive systems that are capable of somewhat breaking down grass because they're like. Imagine that's like being able to desalinate ocean water. It'd be like yeah. if, if, if you could do it, all of our problems are over, but it's really fucking hard to do it. And meanwhile, tigers are like, why don't you just grow claws and eat you? Well, and because you we can, can't all eat me. You can drink a little of your own pee if you're really thirsty and it doesn't fuck you up. But then they shit bricks of hay, basically, because you can, yeah. even even if you're a fucking uh, elephant with all of the if we, eat, if we eat grass, we would probably Ruminate. we would poop yeah. just grass. It would just be grass and like whatever. A, we should try it. Like a Philly cheesesteak. Physical challenge. What would that look like if humans just ate that much grass? You would be. Sorry, continue. Be I think bad. we would just we would we would we would we would starve to death because we would be like, uh, we we can't even break down the cellulose cellulose um, in uh, grass like 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 grazing plants. Like we can eat a carrot, but we can't eat grass because it's just. It, grass is just made out of fucking Kevlar, like 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 the amount of like shit that it takes to turn that into food. It's not worth it. Yeah. And so when they poop, it's like it's a bunch of grass. It's and that's why. Shit. And then the elephant next to you goes like, "What are you? What are you doing? Yeah. 
And I was like, well, I'm shitting it because I have to. I was going to take it for another spin. He's like, well, can I? Do you mind? You're, you're, already, you're already facing that way. Do you mind? No, go ahead. Knock yeah, yourself out. When here. they get right up in there, eat, eat the poop out the butt? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah, they put the trunk. Everybody, the, the elephants, elephants do that? Elephant yeah, will stick his trunk right, right up no, another don't. elephant's Jordan, ass. A trunk up an ass. It's gross. They pull out a brick. But you don't eat from their trunk. They eat from their mouth. No, they pull. They grab it. They use their trunk like a hand to pull a brick. of. This has got to be like a thing they do once in a while as a joke. Or like a terrible cap. Count the YouTube yeah. videos of I'm it. I'm telling you, it's got to be a thing, like different angles uh, of the same thing. And giraffes drink it. piss, you'll find. This is also that's true. true. There's but at least seven videos probably... of people freaking the fuck out because they think that they're the first and last person to ever see an elephant reach its trunk up another elephant's asshole, pull a turd out, and eat it. They're, they're justifiably very excited. They're like... The word Bob Saget has never been exclaimed so many <laughs> times, but 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 the jokes on them because they're part of a playlist they called yeah. like bunch of people at the Brooklyn Zoo seeing an elephant eat its own shit for the first time. I have, what if this is a captivity thing? Uh, I don't. Well, it, it could it could very well be something that gets. I'm calling captivity on this. It's, where... You know about the chimpanzee frog thing? I mean, we don't need to rehash too many. We got to retire the podcast because we're just saying the same shit. I don't know about the again. chimpanzee. Just frog go thing. Google when you go home tonight. Google frogs. chimpanzee frog. But there's there's nothing a chimp won't do. Chimpanzees right. will put a frog on their dick like and just kill light. it. And throw it away like a, like a used condom. They'll yeah. they'll they'll worse than kill it. Like we'll kill a buffalo and then not use all of it. Yeah. Um, a chimpanzee it won't, it with won't bother killing the right. frog. It'll just it just uses it. Humiliate it. It'll jizz load it. And the, and then and then just throws it like a loofah in in a public shower. <laughs> Uh, and it, and the frog, you know, have you, 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 that frog's you, never going to walk the same. It takes a lot to watch a video about a fucking primate that has 99.5% of your DNA and identify with a reptile. <laughs> like yeah. there's a serious crime happening when you're like, I'm the frog. Uh, yes. you just did something horrible. Like you don't think you don't feel that way about the termites when it dips the stick in, but like these things will fuck up if a frog. If the termite was yeah. big enough, if chimpanzee would put his dick in it, if he wouldn't use the stick. The frog's got to have some sort of special shape. It's like a you know, it's a, it's probably evolution actually. Basically, yeah. like frogs all chimpanzees <laughs> are 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 what we like, like, like. All chimpanzees are sociopaths. Like they're they're like we're fascinated by serial killers and mafia hitmen and. <laughs> Things like that, we go like, oh, it's like they don't even, they don't have an empathic response. And like, that's all chimps are just like, they're like looking at the frog and they're like, what's this thing? Look at this. Look at this mouth. Looks the like a chimp's chimp pussy. Empathy, right? <laughs> the frog's like, what are you? Ah! 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 I have a face. Can't you see that? It's yeah, no, I saw enough. it. I'm. But they're kind of asking for it because they're always out there going, <clears throat> rub it. Yeah, give me a break. <laughs> That's all the time we have for tonight. <laughs> Rub it. That's not even... Oh. That's what a horny toad says. It's not... A horny toad says rub it. I mean, they oh, say they rub it. Budweiser because they're drunk and they ask for it because they've been drinking all this Budweiser. Exactly. They're asking again. Dan, you're telling me if you didn't think of that joke, you would have kept it to yourself? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've... I'm yeah, I don't know. Happened. Yeah, and that's why that you would be turned by the Nazis in one day. Like that's how. No, I feel like that's more should... evidence that I wouldn't be because I would be. I was like, I was like, well, I needed to rhyme with ribbit. You can't, you can't, you can't change a whole vowel. But different c cultures say cock a doodle doo. Different yeah, well, okay, so a French dog supposedly says ay 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 or whatever. Alf, like... alf. Says, says, that's what it says. Oof, oof. Yeah. I think it's o. E U F. I love that section oh, of uh, your foreign language in high school. That's, that's a whole fucking chapter of ant. Oh, let's learn what a cow says in French. Are you says out of Yanni. your mind? Cow says Yanni in cow French. Says, <laughs> says Spiegel in German. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Czechoslovakian cats say Green Needle. <laughs> and the Yugoslavian ones Brace say Brace they say show, they say dead. I don't know. They say, <laughs> they say we need to form a new country that doesn't have the uh, Croats. Dan, do you know why French chefs only use one egg to make an omelet? Um, wait, hold on. Just I know it. I got it. Why do they only use one egg? Do you already know egg? it? Or do you, you Can just... I buzz in? Yeah. Do you, do no, you know no. Joke, you, it's you better just... when you tell. You I, do oh, know oh, I know what it is. What? Because I, I took t two semesters of French. Hi, you're going to nail this. Uh, because, uh, uh, it, 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 because, because it's enough. One egg is enough. Oh, yeah, one, one egg, egg is, is enough. enough. Yeah. There's your French lesson for today.
Do you know what? No, that was too dumb. We should add those like animated speech, like thought bubbles to our heads, like for the live feed, like in those dating shows on MTV. I'm just thinking about stuff I wanted to plug an hour ago. What are you plugging? Right, yeah. Uh, does, uh, has anyone seen a cassette tape anywhere? It's, I oh, didn't bring one. Speaking of cassette tapes, isn't isn't there something involving that happening? I heard there is. I put one out on this label called Starburns Industries Press. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. And it's uh, it's really fun and, <laughs> and cool, and you can get it digitally. What's it called? <laughs> it's called Recorded for Quality Assurance. So what is that? There's like a tape club. Yeah, I think there's this tape club. You sign up for it, and you get one a month, and you can even get a cassette player if you if you don't have one. They'll send one to you. You went a little Christopher Walken on that. That was Christopher Walken? You kind of went a little Walken. So really the thing we're plugging is like, we got like is it do you know you know is is tantrum's thing coming out on that too or yeah. okay i've got one coming out that you're on right and uh rob cordry and tompkins and proops and it's a lot of good stuff lots and of good what stuff. is it like yeah. a year of tapes you're getting you, you, you get a subscription based thing where you get kind of a tape of the month kind of thing where like 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 random stuff comes and you get an old school walkman and then I think it's going to all be released maybe digitally later on down the line. Yeah, mine's out That's digitally now. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Why are you so ahead of the game, Pemberton? Because I'm, I'm just literally the first one. When is Pembertons coming out? Pembertones? Pembertones. The, you, your ska band, the Pembertones. Oh, it's are, Johnny you, and the Pembertones. Yeah, you're playing at the uh, Blue Cafe in Long Beach. <laughs> well, I'm going Saturday. on tour in the East Coast starting June 6th. Johnny and the Pembertones, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, D.C. You're opening up for the... Uh, for myself. For, yeah. Yeah, it's Jenny and the Pembertones. Just in case anybody's interest is piqued by this cassette business. Just in case. Well, I'm just saying. Jeez, that, that man. Point, like, yeah, well, I'm going <laughs> to come see you in chance. Boston in, in June right. or whatever. But wait, wait, what's this cassette thing? Is that a bit or whatever? It's uh, what, what, You go to Starburns Star Audio Star Star Church. What do we call it? Yeah, SBI Press. Press. I would say just Google it. Yeah. Drip. Google it. On Drip. Drip. The web address is impossible to use. It's like a bad web address. It's like an old web address where I'm just looking right into the camera saying this. Oh, okay. Just for because I I know I'm just acknowledging the convention of the recording right now. Yeah. SBI Press on Drip, right? Is but Drip, it's not even a, Drip a new it's app? It's a website. It's like Kickstarter, but or it's like Patreon, I guess. It's like everything. That everything is everything. It's just uh, it's, it's like Donny Hathaway yeah. eating a giant dick. <laughs> Thousand years ago, Anne Hathaway, jo Donny Hathaway, that guy wrote "Everything Is Everything," that oh. soul singer from Chicago, '75, greatest song ever written. <laughs> Everything is everything, you know, the not, not, the truth about life. I'm not familiar. I'm sorry. It's a song by Donny Hathaway called "Everything Is Everything." He wrote it in uh, like some year, but it came out in 1975. And it's one of the greatest songs of all time, and that song pretty much is right about everything. And it's hmm. also a really good song. Hmm. I just got a text from Zach. Uh, it's his girlfriend's birthday, Zach McKeever, who couldn't be here tonight. He's with his girlfriend in Seattle. Let's give him a shout out. Wow. The, um, Zach and Ann, I hope you go. I hope you're both ass to mouth right now. <laughs> I think that's very sporting. Of you. Sewn ass to mouth. I hope that. What if you're both ass to mouth? That's yeah. That's. Can you do that? Yeah, you can I do mean, that. I realize our policy of not shouting out the people who are actively working for us probably makes them feel like it's okay to go out of town for, for a show. But the last thing we want to do is reward them when they do that. Right. It's like that's yeah. like the that's like out the, of state. It's, it's that's only, like the principal and the morning announcements going like, let's get, let's let's talk about who's playing hooky today. Who's in uh, detention today? <laughs> who's mi there's someone missing here today? Big shout out to the little rascals. Yeah. Uh, oh. One of our tech guys. Zach. Well, what would happen if that if that what what would they do? He. Today? Uh, well, he did you notice north. that things seemed a little shoddy? Uh, Honestly, I don't know. Like, I, like the I, format was a little wobbly at the top of the show. Zach kind of usually brings okay. his stuff he makes into, it sound you know, funnier. Kinda... I thought maybe this is the person operating the scissor lift. Right. <laughs> well, I would love to hear that sound right now. I would love yeah, to we, hear the we sound have, that. We have no hey. audience, but we have we have 500 Teamsters mm -hmm. that are required to be here, but they have to be absolutely quiet. Um, they're all they, they have six scissor lifts if you if you turn these cameras around it looks like um uh lord of the rings uh like outside the castle with right. <laughs> the orc army there's just like Thousand there's 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 so, there's ollie fonts and there's like blue ghosts uh, but they're all being incredibly respectful because guys, we're not allowed to have an audience do we go to the audience thing next sunday i don't know it gets complicated we the fourth 
And it's a Monday. We, or we're moving to Mondays. Yeah. Why don't we we're bring Steve Levy week. up so he can he can do an information dump? Levy. It's information dumping time. Information dumping. Information, information dump. dump. He's pooping. Steve Levy. Pooping facts. Steve Levy. Out of his Information time. Information time. Hello, I'm Steve Levy. I'm Steve Levy too. What do you do? I make golems. You're a Jew. Yeah, I'm a Jew. That, that pretty much sums me up. You guys know me so well. I need a bad, bad, bad woman to spin my dreidel. Roadhouse juice. Roadhouse juice. Need a bad, 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 bad woman to spin my trail tonight. I got a whole lot of candles on my menorah tonight. I tell you, that woman gives me spilkes. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not. It's not the humidity, it's her! She's making me hot. <laughs> I got a real bad case of those roadhouse dudes. Should I call the AD, uh, ADL right now, or what? You think? Just give him give a heads up. Oh, you're lucky your hat is becoming like a, little, like a little toupee. You mean a yarmulke, is that what you trying to say? Oh, is I it's... was going to say schmata. Did you, you you change the shape of your hat in solidarity because we were skewing anti-Semitic so that, you wanted to balance it? I think it was a coincidence. It was just sort of one of those things that happened that uh, we'll never know why. Sometimes I, as, as a goy, goyim? I don't know how that works. Are Steve? I, either. Is um in, in Yiddish, is, or is it Yiddish or Hebrew? I also don't know that. Yiddish is like slang, right? It's like informal Yiddish is an Eastern European language that was spoken by Jewish people. And so words that end with um, is that like plural? In, uh, yeah. It's like, so like there's a goy and then there's a bunch of goyim, is that? It? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a flock of goyim and it's a murder of latkes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the golem. Oh, it's golem. Golem. Right. All right, Steve. Tell, hit, break us down from the perspective of of the person that 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 keeps that keeps caring. <laughs> oh, what, we're, what we're doing about time? I mean, like I don't know. Someone says next Saturday to me. I'm like, That's, this is you the mean last the Phantom show Zone? in the venue. This is the last show we're doing here at Starburns. Are you shitting Castle. me? Yep. Yeah. Last night. Jesus, we, we should have done something. Are we bringing the bed with us? Is a bed staying? No. The bed is coming along, and no, it's going to no. play the piano. We're... <laughs> no, we're going to be in front. This is the last time we're not going to be in front of people. Yeah, man. This is the end of our isolation. Yeah. Can I come back when it's in front of people? Yeah, yeah. it'll be better. But more importantly, what should we do before that we can't do in front of people? Oh, shit. Um... um. See, I should have brought my Minecraft laptop. Let's sew ourselves ass to mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, see, that's significant. What if, like, who, if, if we're all going to do that, who sews? You like, got to like, do what, it simultaneously. What's the, what's the workflow on us sewing each, ourselves ass to mouth with each other? Well, you're a you're 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 a centipede syndicalist. You believe that 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 it should be worked into the centipede. Yeah, I, I don't believe in mutual. I mean, I, yeah, it's... I I'm more of a, 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 a reciprocity based. How about magnets? No, I be, I, I believe that there magnets. should always be magnets. a doctor in order for there to be a centipede. You could right? do it as a you could put electromagnets in our, in in our mouths, and then the other side of the electromagnet on a butt. And then you then you just have everyone has control of the switch. So if you want to, a lot of people would say, Jeff, that if it's not sewn, it's not a centipede because it's like we we aren't we already don't we already have the option of putting our lips on each other's buttholes and eating all the poop from each other's butts. I'm saying the, 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 the control of the switch, like it it it, it switches around. Like, like you can have control for like eight hours. It's a liberal fantasy. <laughs> you know, you got to choose. You, okay. Do you want my lips in your asshole? Okay. It's you. <laughs> so like, okay, let's say I sew Steve Levy's mouth to your butthole. Okay, I'm I'm listening. Then, 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 <laughs> have I got your attention? I'm all I'm all ears. <laughs> and then it's my turn to have your mouth sewn to my butt. 
I can't sew that. So someone no, else. No, yeah, to sew I, it. that's what I'm saying. You need a doctor. So Pemberton sews my your mouth to my butt. We got Spencer's left. Right. And that, but now we don't. We have. We, we, no, we, we got both of you left. I don't think that the doctor. Spencer sews, Spencer sews Pemberton's mouth to my butt. Mm-hmm. I'm then ready for that. At the very end, when it's time for Spencer's mouth and, to be sewn to a butt and mouth and butt to a mouth. We're gonna have to all get into kind of like circle, circle the wagons, yeah. And, and so we're gonna we're all gonna have to kind of get into a circle. And that's the a, most a exciting circle, part because at that point we'll be able to form a human wheel and roll at high speeds. <laughs> that, that's where the term sewing circle comes from, right? I, you do raise human an interesting centipede. point about the human centipede mythos. I've watched all three of those movies, and I and I cannot pin holes. the characters or the director down on whether or not he thinks that. Uh, Having your lips sewn to another person's butt is a good thing, or a bad thing. I don't. I don't understand how it works. They, what you would you understand? Because I mean, you would just. Do rip. You under, is the question that poop is not food? Is that your problem? No, 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 no. It's not that at all. It's more like imagine a, your lips being sewed to someone else's asshole, right? Yeah, right. You're gonna lose the ability to use your your mandible, right? So if like a, yep. you, if someone shits like a giant log, you're fucking you're well, choking, choking it's and dying and, and and soft. No, you, you gotta breathe through you, your nose. Though. Well, you gotta hope. You're gonna that have to. You gotta start furiously, furiously swallowing that poop. Well, I yeah, thought it's I, like, where it's I thought you were going is like this isn't how skin works. It's not like welding. You get, you're gonna rip your fucking lips off somebody's well, asshole. That's, yeah, that's the truth. Yeah, you will it, just it, rip it it apart. For me, it asks the important question: What's more important to you, ripping off the huh? front of your face or eating some of that delicious? Poop? I suspended my disbelief on the lip stuff, you're but but to. if someone's taking a giant turd in your mouth. <laughs> You what can't you can't infection? suspend your your infection, but he problem. also he feeds them special food. You haven't watched these movies. No, no. He I'm doesn't feed them like fucking broccoli and chicken. <laughs> okay. Like he makes them eat like fucking protein broth and stuff. Like he wants them to have Liberty. diarrhea and stuff. It's yeah. it's he all very it's like the guy explains it. You haven't watched these movies. Is it yeah, Udu Kier? It's like an Udu Kier wannabe, huh? Uh, I don't know what that is. The, the actor Udu Kier? What's that? Are you kidding me? I think, Udu Kier. I think Kier is dick in Farsi. I'm gonna look it up. You guys, you guys know who Udu Kier is? Do you know who Uzhola is? <laughs> he's an actor. He's like a he's got crazy eyes. He's been in a bunch of Warhol movies. He was in Blood for Dracula. He's uh, whatever. Udo Kier. Udu Kier. Jeremy All right, actor. Levy. Tell the tell the tell the people from so from here. Now, the next time they want to see us, it'll be Monday, June 4th at 8 p.m. at the Dynasty, Dynasty Typewriter Hayworth Theater in Koreatown. So that's Los Angeles, California. Now, hold on a second. Can we? All right. But are we first going on the road? No, no, that's later. Okay. That's like mid, late June? That's like, yeah, late, late June. June. So, and those shows are the 23rd at the Wilbur Theater in Boston, and oh wait, is it? And then the 24th, 22nd, and 23rd. Uh, so we have next week off. Yeah, yeah, we do have next week off. Yeah, because why? Well, secret. I think you and Cody were going away. Right? Oh, it's because it's Memorial Day or something. Oh, it's Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah don't yeah. put it on me. Yeah, we couldn't fucking. Sorry, 22nd, 22nd at the Wilbur the Theater, 23rd on Long Island at the Cradle of Aviation Museum, for the. Uh, for the that convention, if we didn't do shows when I didn't feel like doing them, we the, the uh, <laughs> that's the show we have. <laughs> well, I I mean, going away is that's a that's not necessarily your fault. It's it's his vacation. fault. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. It's okay to go away. Memorial Day is bigger than me and my needs. It's about our nation's soldiers. Airplanes. It's about 9/11. It's about uh, it's about it's, 9/11. It's, it's about war and yellow ribbons and supporting things. David like Guetta. Memory. It's about deer That's hunter. Cheap. It's about. Uh, it's about. Uh, Michael uh, Mann. Michael Mann. Transformers. It's about Carnival of the Dead. It's about Independence Day, the movie, even though it's a different holiday. Right. But it's more about. It's more of a Memorial Day movie for me. Yeah. Because it's about. Our, our armed ser- services. Yeah, well, I think you know, there's not a heavy Thanksgiving element to Wizard of Oz, but people have come to why. I think you're right. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Independence Day is a great Memorial Day movie. <laughs> it's for me, it's the only one. <laughs>
<laughs> which is why IFC <laughs> plays it on a loop for, the, for, for 24 hours. Huh? Oh, for Christ's sake. Um, all right. Pemberton plugged. He's got a cassette tape that's part of this giant subscription that you can get where you get a tape every week. Do you have a show Kiss Eagle My Ass, too? One. Yeah, Kiss My Ass is every month at the satellite, first Sunday of the month. But this, this uh, in June, it's going to be we're doing it in Denver. Do you oh, know that wow. Anna of uh, Zach McKeeper fame, who is currently ass to mouth in Seattle with our Zach, uh -huh. produces that show? Is she producing? Anna Hosnian? Probably. Yeah. Yes. True. She produces it. It's true. Oh. I, I know her. When she's not eagerly gobbling poop out of Zach's butthole. <laughs> Gobble, well, gobble, a German gobble. scientist who we, d we will never be able to pin down on his feelings about it <laughs> keep, keeps saying, yes, yes, yes. Well, it's the next stage in human evolution. I mean, he says that, but. Right. I just, I don't, I don't. But he doesn't understand that you can't eat poop. And then, like, when it turns out you can't, he's like, wait, what? But also, he's, like, stoked about how it's uncomfortable for them. Right. Like, he's like, yeah, I love making you do it because you hate it. Survival of the fittest. So you don't like it. Like, you don't think a human should be eating shit because you you actually are just a regular guy that just, like, hates, like, hitchhikers or whoever these people are that came to your German lair. Right. He's just a That's... masochist, right? Kind of. Sa he, sadist. He, sadist, he's, sorry. He's, oh. I, think he, I think he's doling out what he considers the ultimate punishment. He's not. He's not into it. He's. 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 He's into making people bummed out. In the original movie, out. <laughs> the original movie, yeah, uh, yeah. he. He. That's the TV. Yeah. That's the the he's, Chuck Lorre's uh, no. human centipede job. Bummed out. That's the Canadian. That's adaptation. actually what the singularity is. <laughs> the Canadian Dave Foley's in it. That, that's the singularity is when they remake the Human Centipede. <laughs> Every once in a while, you gotta take what you're given, forming new <laughs> friends in a circle of friends. Bummed out! <laughs> sometimes life throws stuff at you, and sometimes you throw stuff at life. Be friends with the person behind you. It's giving as good as you get to giving it back. Paying it forward, <laughs> taking it back. <laughs> I'm with you, and we're on the right track. Bummed out. Dave Foley is the bumbling, <laughs> sadistic German scientist. Uh, I was on the road with Dave Foley for a couple of weeks, and he's a fucking joy. He's absolutely a sweetheart. And fuck, is he funny? So funny. He's uh, a good... Well, I hope he is okay with the fact that when he comes on the show, there's going to be a fucking audience, because we just burnt up our last delicious taste of no audience. I think he is born in front of an audience. I think he's a he's a he's a born performer what do we do what's the last we're never gonna be in total silence in a dark empty warehouse ever again what what what's the thing you always wanted to do spencer already pitched asked to mount centipede yeah uh dan you should say all those things that you don't like saying in front of an audience because they'll because like, they make weird sounds right okay <laughs> uh uh race <laughs> uh. oh wait no i'm making the sounds uh uh, eighty-five percent of everyone is stupid, and that actually does include eighty-five percent of whatever group you belong to. <laughs> Believe me, I've met you. I'm stupid. Oh, maybe eighty-five percent no, no, chance. No. <laughs> Four of us are. Uh, this is a group. Yeah. Uh. I don't like. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, just get, better get this out before we have an audience. Uh, I recognize it as a well-executed movie compared to the Sony versions. Uh, I think it's a waste of Spider-Man to just turn him into a uh, AI suit uh, with Tony Stark just providing him with a, a Spider-Man suit. What's this? The, 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 you know, the new Spider-Man is the. It's like I'm, I uh, he gets a new suit from Tony Stark, and it's like the suit is like talking to him like Jarvis and I like oh, that. Man. I get the complaints. The thing is like in the story of like civil war and everything that did happen, but it's like, that's not like a quintessential Spider-Man story. It's not like a reboot Spider-Man story. It's like this very, mm. like that's like the seventh Spider-Man movie can be about, Oh, now he has a Spider-Man AI suit. It's kind of an interesting choice for, you know, for what's essentially like a reboot, like setting off the, it's weird. Did yeah. You, did, did, did you like that uh, in a quiet place? Did we talk about this? I haven't seen it. 
and I won't watch it. And here's why: I don't like uh, deaf people movies. No, I'm kidding. I, I <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like the uh, the things to say before <laughs> an audience comes back. Talk about uh, you can talk Atlanta. all the shit you want about the deaf. I can't talk about Atlanta. I haven't watched Atlanta. How about Deadpool? Too Deadpool soon. Deadpool too. Deadpool. That's that's that that's all yeah, I yeah. keep saying is, is uh, haven't watched Atlanta. <laughs> um, Deadpool two, two like is it. very meta. It's enjoyable. Meta? How meta? It's way up its own ass. It's, I never like, way I, up. I never like met a the set and watch themselves filming it. Pretty like, much, it's like yeah, it's like the first one, like like like. Yeah, it's all playback. It references everything. It's it references the Avengers. Does it reference video assist? <laughs> that could be big. Almost, like, actually, you, yeah. The whole movie takes really? place in Video Village. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I thought there was... There could... There's an element of rewind, play, fast forward in there. How many yeah. How many people does our, our theater, the, the new venue, hold? 500. Yeah. For oh. real? <laughs> no, not at all. 200? I think it's 150, but... 150. Yeah, like, it's a good 100. amount. It's, a it's really space. really nice yeah. seats, right? Great space, great Leather. sound. And we're, we're, we're looking at it in the... In the prestigious stabbing district of right. downtown Los Angeles, right? That You will want to bring uh, pepper spray. You usually can get it on clearance at Fry's. Yes, run, don't walk from your car to the theater to see Hermantown. <laughs> well, you, you will have to run from your car because you have to park so fucking far away that right. you'll have to be late. Just lift or Uber or carpool or some That's shit. That's the trick. If you lift, you'll be safe. Yeah, pull up, pull up, pull, to, pull right room. up to the front. We'll have a paparazzi out there <laughs> for you. That could be cool. We should do that for our big opening. We should hire a red carpet. Should we do a hand bone like like paparazzi red carpet thing? As long as I don't have to do anything. Have yeah. to commit. But yeah. 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 I just. No. I, 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 Dan, I, I just cool. pictured you out there, crack it down, rolling out some carpet, staple gun in hand. Yeah. <laughs> Hot glue and some some do some a, a, appliques onto a thing. You want to do some step and turns? Step and turns. Yeah. Step and repeat. Is it? Uh. uh I'm really trying to think. Pee, I'm trying to think of the uh, thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, one more thing is before we before we're back in front of an audience. I don't like poor people, and I don't have to, um, because I wa I grew up poor enough that I I know that you there's nothing magical about being poor. You you can be poor and be a fucking dumb asshole just as easily as you can be born rich and be a dumb asshole. You're like so, the white Kanye without all the genius. So when so when you say to me on Instagram. Uh, Hey, wh why don't you stop doing what you're currently doing and do what I tell you to do? And I tell you to go fuck your mother, you dumb, broke, hillbilly fuckface, uh, and stop giving me advice about the hair on my shoulders in my shower because your life sucks because you're a fucking loser. Uh, and you try to play the class system fucking card with me, you can double fuck yourself with a with a hundred poor dicks because uh, I made myself out of dirt without permission, and that's exactly why you can go fuck yourself because I'm 45 years old, so I'm better than you. Um, I made myself rich, so I'm better than you. I'm uh I'm 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 my, I have I have a differently shaped brain than yours and that doesn't make me better than you but it makes me luckier than you which makes me better than you because capitalism. So stop telling me what to do because by every rule you hold important you have to shut the fuck up forever all the time whenever you're in my presence because you're a lower person than me you're and you're and you're uh, you're an animal so I just wanted to get that off my chest, but I say I say we re d delete this from this <laughs> this no. Armageddon, and you save this for the audience. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm you, giving you, you know, it. We open are, with this. we open with this. It's like it's like a rom com. It's like we broke up. Like I we I, I don't I, I've had a I've had a good time in my bachelor pad without the audience, like rolling around in my own farts. I can't wait to to be back in what front if, of the audience with flowers and candy. What if, what if you got Bernie Madoff and some horrible shit happened and you couldn't make money and you lost everything and you were a poor guy again? I'd be a poor guy who proved he was better than other people by having made myself rich, and then I'd be twice as angry about being poor. What, I don't even know where you're going with All this. those Madoff got... people, they're still doing fine. Are they? Yeah. Also, you can't make me <laughs> yeah, poor, not... Jeff. People have been trying for 40 years. Oh, dude, don't fucking issue that sort of fucking challenge. No, me. I'm... I'll I'm, make I'm, you poor in fucking 48 hours. No, I will reverse Brewster's Million You. This is part of our great new road movie that we're doing for <laughs> Netflix. 
Uh, there's no back end, but Dave, Davis makes you poor in 48 hours. <laughs> two two friends. I bet I could make you poor in 48 hours. Well, yeah, but we gotta spread my dad's ashes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Adam Sandler is Jeff Davis <laughs> in Neil Patrick Harris as David Allen Greer. Uh, I but but wait, what was I? I was just about to say you, one. You, you were you were hating on the poor. Yeah, yeah, but but nah, that's not helping because I knew that part, but um. Uh, shit, I had it on the tip of my tongue. The, Fuck. Uh, Lost it. T- t- Lost it. T- what if you, if something about you say, like, what if you could make me, what if you, what if you made me poor? What, what, what if you lost everything? Oh, oh, oh! I know what it is. Because you, you implied that if I say, oh, people have been trying to make me poor and they can't beat me and all this stuff. Here's the thing. Another thing to get off my chest before we, before we make up with the audience and we, we entertain them. Because they're going to buy tickets, and we're going to be like, "You're good people." Like, like some of you are bad people, but we're going to like pretend you're good people. This this little anti poor monologue is ticket sales gold, right? I, it doesn't. I, it, also, here's that we don't care. Also, if one person shows up for the show, right. it, that we it doubled our zero audience. I'm invincible. We're, we're also charging uh, ticket master prices. So I think. I think. The, yeah, it's eight hundred dollars for, for the first for the first twenty rows is eight hundred dollars. But and, and and ironically, those are the seats that are the worst because when I do my wire fly, you're gonna get kicked in the face. <laughs> I, I actually am gonna be comp trolling. Is, is this a spoiler to say that I, my, my comp trolling uh, lectern is gonna is be a, a yeah. Tommy Lee's drum a cage, yeah. with, with a cage that goes upside down, so I, I can be like upside down uh, comp trolling. No, my therapist and I are working on. I have to get over this idea that if you say. I'm a great person. You can't beat me. I'm wonderful. I'm having a good life. That that means that an anvil is going to fall on your head. Like that's a that's a that's a that's a normally healthy thing because you're not supposed to be a pompous cock and like. Right. That's a normally healthy thing. That's a normally healthy but, thing. But but, but, but but for me, it's like you know, carbs are normally healthy for some people. But like, I have to be on a diet that but like your your rage about. About the poor attacking you. Is, 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 this, is this all about? Yeah, well, you don't have to know, yeah. okay? I have to know. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, what you know doesn't matter. And that <laughs> won't, and it won't have negative repercussions on me because it's okay for me to be confident and certain about what makes me happy. Mm-hmm. There won't be negative repercussions because I was satisfied with myself or my work, or my life, or anything was good enough. Like, there is no punishment from the universe for me being okay with the way the day is going. Right. And there, there's, no, there's no reason for me to check in and make sure that's okay with you. That's something that everybody else needs to do because they're fucking stupid, and they need to grow and be better people. I have become just what, God. Where, where does poverty come into this? Though? You, 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 you sound right. more mad about Because my money is a direct measure of my worth as a person, my accomplice. No, I don't know. What are you talking well, about? You, you're more mad at stupid people than, than than whether they have money in the bank. I right. I don't. I, I don't know what what you're. You just did a giant rant about your your poor your, people. Your, your poor people are animals. I don't know if I did a giant rant about anything. For, that's your <laughs> subjective. That was a like, mini. That was a I, what I, rant. What I what I what I said was if you're on Instagram, and I tell you to go fuck yourself, and one of the things I tell you. The, is a reason why you shouldn't be telling me what to do is because your dumb ass is broke. In addition to you being anonymous, living with your parents, having accomplished nothing, having a life half the length of mine, not making anyone happy, and not following me, and uh, you're following me instead of I'm following you. There's a million reasons why, if you really think about it, it's fucking dumb for you to ever open your mouth around me. Like, like you don't have to then, you're not going to get away with saying to me, uh, oh, that makes you uh, a Lannister because it, 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 it doesn't like like you're a, you're a fucking idiot and a, a gross little uh, dirty, filthy piglet. And being broke is a part of that because 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 there's not a lot of rich people doing it like like get, getting it, watching me take a shower on my Instagram feed and telling me that I need to get my shoulders like uh, de 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 hair or whatever. There's, there, there's not a lot of rich people doing that. Maybe maybe that's the connection. I don't know. James Woods. James right. Woods is is in my Instagram telling me to, to get hair removal. He's a troll? <laughs> oh, he's a big-time troll. Uh, you're 15. You're poor. Your parents are – they fucked up. Um, you, 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 you're a failure. You're going to die uh, miserable. 
um, and you won't even know it. You'll think you're happy. That's how miserable and dumb you are. You can't even you can't even detect misery as much as I can. I have more uh, emotional taste buds than you. Um, you. This is probably a bad time to announce your run for Congress. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, I think it's all. I think it's all out. So then we'll next time you see me. Oops. Yeah, this is this has definitely been worked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's you're, certainly done. It's all done. Well, I think you're being sarcastic and you're suggesting that well, something bad happened. Well, no, I'm not. I'm just like it seems like I don't think this we'll is like. Red, we'll let Reddit, I, it might, it we'll let Reddit it, sort it, it out. Is it, was it is that difficult for you to, to to sit and listen to me say a bunch of stuff and then go ah that's great. Is that a tough choice for you as a performer? Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, let's like, let, let's switch roles. Like, okay. like, like, say a bunch of stuff. All right. <laughs> I love poor people, and I yeah, think every yeah, time. that's great. I know. Yeah, this is fun. Great. No, you're no, this you're doing great. you're no, you're doing what you always do right now. Yeah. Let me do what you do. Okay. Now you just talk. Just I talk. Am. This is me talking. Oh, uh, great, great job. Great job. You're doing great. You're a great job. Great job. Yeah. I love encouraging. Great job. I like working. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I love having fun with my friends. All right. For an audience who appreciates it. All right, so next time. We should sing the closing theme. For our, for the, we should say good, like, good, like, good night to all of our non-audience members. Yeah, uh, is like, it gonna be is it gonna be Rob Tantrum singing lyrics that I have to sing over, or is it? No, can I, I we, give you a beat. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a Fiddler on the Roof style, Harmontown. But, uh, yeah, well, I, I think we should do a Fiddler on the Roof style Harmontown goodbye. Yeah, I'll be Tevia. Is it okay? I'm not as familiar with it as there is there two roles. <laughs> I'll be the roof. Can, can you brief me on it before? <laughs> okay, get on the get get up get up. Get up on the on the ceiling and be the roof. I'll be the roof. I'll lay down and you can fiddle upon me. I am him that has come forth for this salvation upon the mountain that has been spoken unto thee. For the Ephesians know now that this is the light of the covenant everlasting. For the blood from the mountain that is the eye of him says to you, Go back, find this with which it has come, and I will be that sprout within your penis. <laughs> I gotta say goodbye to the no people. This is giving me flashbacks to forcing myself to do this at the end of every show for a year while we were on the road, though. <laughs> I did a boot movie about myself. <laughs> I produced a movie about myself. And we did 30 shows about me. And we sang this song because we couldn't pay for our music. <laughs> and we couldn't put music in our movie. So we made Ryan Elder make us music we could keep using. And we got sick of it. So we made everyone sing the song And then we had to keep going on To 25 shows in 20 days And keep pretending to learn things But when you drink too much And the director is sober He'll make the movie about drinking Because drinking's a bigger deal to sober people Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. Let's give it up for Steve Levy. Woo! Steve! Johnny Pemberton, everybody. Check out... Ah! What's your podcast called again? It's called Live to Tape. Live to Tape. Yeah. Fantastic. It's great. Also, check out Pembertunes. It's, gonna, it's coming out in the... Uh, season 3 is coming out in the Learning Channel. Season 3 on TLC. Number one place to be. Let's give it up for, uh, for Chris, Sarah... Harry Foster doing our music and sound and everything tonight. Going for Zach, you song, Church of course, taking all the wonderful photography and being groovy. Nolan, everybody here. Also, it's uh, Derek Carter who played the music I was playing earlier. So <laughs> I'll go down in history as the Roadhouse Jews. Uh, How many episodes are we doing at that space? Isn't it like six, and then we're? It's like a residency, right? Like we're doing like. Well, there's yeah. a there's a fixed number of them, and then we're done, right? 
That's well, they said there's a, they, they, they didn't tell us we could keep showing up there forever. There's an agreement again. that we signed. The song, I Don't Feel So right. Good, IDFSG is out there to probably download and purchase. It's, it's good stuff. What's the ISN, ISBN number of that? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> And for anyone who wants to come see us live, uh, you can find our tickets online on Eventbrite, but you can just on uh, uh, Dynasty Typewriters just website. Don't be poor. See you next time. Drive fast and take chances.